This is King and Queen Amorous up here. They're hanging out at the top. And they have an interesting looking guy over there. Uh, and, you know, first thing you guys notice when you walk in is it's just King Leon and Queen Amorous. And this uh, elderly gentleman who's quite tall and lanky with uh, silk robes uh, that are in the colors of the royal family, blue and gold. Um... So there's no one else. They're not holding like a court like they usually do where there's a bunch of other people. And with you guys is Captain Harold. And you guys are going to walk up and present Captain Harold to King Leon and Queen Amorous. Captain. Like I'm gonna walk behind him. I'm gonna walk behind the captain. Uh -huh. I'm not about being seen. He's the yeah. yeah. There you go. He runs. You gotta catch him. <laughs> He's the slow one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? But I'm <laughs> okay, so you guys walk <laughs> walk up there, and as you approach, King Leon jumps to his feet and kind of looks a little like shocked, but almost like. You know, kind of worried, too. And he says, Is that Captain Harold? Did you... Sure him? Yeah, dead or alive, right? That was the... Yeah, we figured this would be his best way to pay for his crimes. I never thought that I would ever see Captain Harold clapped in irons. I fully expected him to be dead. And Captain Harold just kind of like slumps forward, and he's like, Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Not dead, maybe just a little tuckered out. Uh, kind of like poke fun. You poke fun at me, who have lost my four dearest allies in the world. It was self-defense. What can I say? I mean, they came <laughs> right for us. Harold just kind of slumps down and like drops his head. He's like very, very sad. He <laughs> his four friends. Um, King Leon kind of goes to sit back, and he speaks with. Uh, that's how it's what we do here, how dare you? Oh, we yeah. fucking make dope ass setups. Yo, Cajun? Oh yeah, Cajun. Cajun, 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 thanks for the follow. Um, so King Leon kind of like settles back down and he's and he and he kind of looks at his wife and kind of says something to her, and she says something back in a whisper, and he goes, What would you have us do with King Her or with Captain Harold? You're asking us? I don't think that's for us to decide. Um, yeah. This is your kingdom. You... The, the reason we ask is we feel too close with the matter. He was once our astute prime friend of, of defending us. That's all he did. We were, we were close friends, and now he seems to be nothing more than a man, almost a pity to sacrifice, and our kingdom <laughs> does not necessarily need... <laughs> more pity or more sadness are you i mean we bear no ill will towards him he's done nothing to us but it sounds like he's done stuff to you and your kingdom so i think it'd be only fit that you decide the punishment for him and i mean he built he has ill will towards us so like i'm not just cool with him just walking out of here that yeah Fair that's the point. only thing so he waved the tall lanky man in the silk robes over to to him and his wife and they speak Momentarily, little. You guys are allowed to sidebar if you want. They're just talking. They're whispering real quick. I don't know. We need to find someone to rent our apartment. We did. Spend his money. It's true. Does anybody know that we can like check and see if this is the real king or queen? We can. I can. I can totally do that. Yeah. We should do. That. Yeah. Okay. Just, just to make because sure. it seems weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sense motive on these old people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me get a good sense motive dice here. Something that won't fuck me into oblivion. This looks cool. Hey, that's a twenty. Okay, so twenty-one. Sorry. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Um, so sensing more. <laughs> you kind of like plus one. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Your intuition about this kind of seems right. Something seems off. There's, there's just something not right about 
the guy, the tall guy stand that's standing up there. Um, Dude, I'll go ahead and do. Oh, I was. Damn. I'll, I'll do knowledge and ability to see if he holds himself like a noble, like a king would. Okay. And while they're doing this, I'll ask him. Um, this isn't normally how we meet you. What happened to your court? We court just people. decided this matter better not be left for the commoners. We don't want anyone talking. We've already had enough drama. Not even I'm, a guard. I rolled I'm, a fifteen. Yeah, I'm gonna, by the way. Huh? I rolled a fifteen on knowledge ability. Um, he doesn't seem noble to you, but that's about it. Just like he kind of holds himself just like a normal, like normal. A commoner? No, kind of like in the middle. Yeah, he's not, he's not like a king, but he's not like oh, yeah, a cast uh, more like a uh, lord than than like a like a you know not full noble. Like 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 cast detect magic, see if he is currently using any. Okay, and since you want to keep this away he from, up. he is. Uh, do I see anybody being affected by this? No. Oh. I wait, wait, did you want to do your thing? Yeah, so since you want to keep this away from prying eyes, who might I ask is this gentleman with you? This is our head sorcerer, Elzara. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Elzara? <laughs> Elzara. Elzara. Um, can I use um above table? Uh, the way I read Spellcraft is that I can... Because I have a bonus to Spellcraft. And the way I read it was that I can use it to discern a type of magic. Okay. Is that... Is, would you say that's correct? Or as... I mean... I, I, that's what I... Works enough for me. I have no I, idea. I would say... You convinced me. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I don't get a big buff to it, but I would say it's a plus five. <clears throat> so you can see if it's like arcane versus. Yeah, I got a nine. I have no idea what he's doing. I mean, like, unless he's I... a magical bee. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to see. Oh, the I'm not the person lab. to do this, but um, I just want to kind of take a look around because we've been in here before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does everything look the same? Everything looks the same. It's just empty. No guards. No guards. Just those mm. three. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on here? Um, I'm gonna be like, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> start, I start walking like out of there. Like, as, you get, as you get close to the door, the door shut. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and detect evil on this guy. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna focus on him for the next three rounds to uh, see if he has an evil lore or, or if he's um, oh, no. and then like it progresses through levels. Okay. So, Sure. So I guess the first level is like the weakest yeah. level? Uh, yeah. I, um, will roll here for me. I rolled a 19, so... So you kind yeah. of, like, focus on him a little bit? Uh-huh. And you can see that he's, like, also focused, but you don't sense any evil. Okay. I'm gonna lean over to the group. Well, who, whoever this is, doesn't really seem that evil. Is there like so? It lasts for a couple minutes. Can I see like magic anywhere else in this room? Then, if it's not there's being... magic everywhere. <sighs> I'm just like. Are you able to discern what kind of magic? I no. No. That's higher level. Um, so I'll run back to the group and be like. So something really wrong here. I don't understand what's going on, but there's magic everywhere. Um. So then I turn and I slap him. Me? Yes. Uh. Like, why, why'd you go away from us? <laughs> don't mind that. I was just making, like, seeing if that would, like... I had to pee, but someone stopped me from going outside. Okay, just making sure. Wanted to see if that was, like... The sorcerer kind of moves a little bit closer, right? Like, maybe down the first step right there. And uh, he's a tall, lanky old man with a strong draw and bright, bright white hair. His robes, again, made of silk and fashioned in the colors of the royal house, blue and gold. My thanks to you, adventurers, for ridding our land of the filth rebellion. You said with white hair? Mm hmm And he's a human? Mm hmm It's the least we could do. Plus, I'm 100% sure if we stayed in this town for two weeks, we would be the ones locked in a jail cell. 
Did he make foot like did he make sounds of footsteps coming down those steps or no? No. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so uh so he's going to uh kind of stand up a little tall and clasp his hands in front of his face. I believe you still have not answered what we should do with this vagabond. I'd say uh classic uh okay. First question, before I give you the classic example of what I would do. How is he perceived in the public eye, both past and present? Well, I believe he was always looked up to by the commoners and the men he served with. I don't think anyone cared much for him or against him. He was just the king of the, or the captain of the king's guard. Okay. And then with this whole rebellion thing going on, does the average folk know about uh, about his wrongdoings? I would say the average folk knows of what he has done. Whether they agree if it's a wrongdoing or not, I do not know. Who took over his position after he went AWOL? Captain Ajax, of course. Then they should decide. That's what I was thinking. But Captain Ajax is not here. Only you are here. You should call for him. You are king. You yet but command, and the world listens. This is the sorcerer. You gotta start. Oh, mm. <laughs> I knew that. Then don't. <laughs> <laughs> what would it? Uh, where would so? Hmm, I'm assuming Captain Ajax is off dealing with this whole rebellion that we're gonna be going and helping with. He uh, is just, shall we say, indisposed. Hmm. I've heard that one before. Um, Shall we kill him? Shall so we set him free? We definitely don't set him free. I want to try and daze him, but like subtly, like I'm sneezing as I cast the spell, just go, and like throw it at him. See if I can try and like just disrupt whatever's going on. Okay. Stop him from casting this magic. I mean, yeah. Uh, Natural 20. Okay. Uh, did you have any bonuses with that? Um, because <laughs> I yes. like I had a number in my head and that didn't beat it. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is a monitor for map. Yeah, for maps. Oh yeah, it's our new setup. Uh, yeah. twenty three total. Okay. So as you do that, it gets about a foot in front of his face as you like kind of release your your magic spell on him. And try and daze him. It gets about a foot in front of his face, and you just see it like dissipate in like a aura around him, and just like and like kind of wave off. And he just kind of smirks and says, "Now that wasn't very nice, Twinkle." Sorry, that's nice. Roll for initiative. Oh. I was about to say he knows his name. Well, I would say, well, if he did that, he's definitely right here. <laughs> I'm just like, no, I have a no. distance of 35 feet to do it. You're going to sneeze 35 feet at this man? <laughs> <laughs> well, I sneezed, and then, like, all of a sudden came out. I was like, oh, it's a booger. A booger. <laughs> it exploded <laughs> in front of your face. <laughs> a magic boogie, dude. Yeah, exactly. You guys don't roll. We don't just admit him. So, hold on, I'm not done. Okay. Oh. Roll for initiative. Fuck it. <laughs> Elzara steps down and pushes his arm to the side in a bubble of light appears at his fingertips. He utters a few magic words and the bubble bubble explodes, engulfing the entire room in light and pushing you three ten meters behind. Oh, so mm -hmm. we're like at the back of the hallway now. Yep. Oh, actually you four. Captain Harold as well. So it's okay. just Twinkle. Come, let's test your magic, young wizard. This will protect everyone from injury and us from death. You and I will conjure until one is the victor. If you can... Well... If you are declared victor, you might just get a prize. If not, we may have to talk about what happens after this. As he's talking, a cast magic missile. I thought he was Twinkle. That's a good point. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not point. one for monologue. Who's victor? Who's victor? I thought he was Twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> is he getting a new name? Do we all get new names? Maybe it's a title. <laughs> uh, how much damage did you do? Oh, what what was what did you? Uh, so to hit it was nineteen. You hit. Cool. Uh, you the right one. 
Oh, yay. Uh, six damage. Yeah, little firecrackers. I'm like, yeah. So it kind of hits him, and it kind of like dazes him a little bit. And one of his like white mustache beards kind of get a little frayed, and he just like slowly plays with it and smiles. And he is going to um, cast alter. <laughs> He's gonna cast wish. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to kind of he's going to kind of like roll up his sleeves a little bit and he's going to cast uh magic missile right back at you in a very similar fashion. Uh and he does Wait, what's my bonus for spells? Uh his spell cat so he's a wizard. It's his spell it's whatever his level is essentially. Yeah. Or his with level his, of wizard. Yeah. Well, it would be his it's 10 plus the level of the spell plus, plus your modifier. Wisdom, right? No, no, I'm talking about like for, for to hit. Oh, so what you roll plus your wisdom modifier plus that, the level of the spell. Okay, so... Shit. Uh, 17. Uh, yeah, it hurts. It hits. <laughs> um, let me see here. Let me see where I'm rolling for damage. All of it. It's weird. This time they didn't give me the stuff, so I'm just going to do this. Uh, You take five damage. Not bad, not bad. They do an exasperated... <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> you got the three <laughs> Um, That's my boy. Take it off. <laughs> I'm just going to cast Mirror Image on myself then. Goes off. Um, so. <laughs> one more image appears right next to me. Okay. So, uh, it looks exactly the same. Okay. And then we kind of. I try and like confuse him on which one's which. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what you want me to roll for that one. Um, the old cups. <laughs> roll me. Roll me a d20. Nope. Okay. Nope. So, so he's going to he's going to smile and he's going to say, "That's a clever trick. Too bad I know exactly which one you are." And he's just going to cast lightning bolt right on top of you. And it's uh eighteen at eighteen. So it hits. Okay. Um, and he does eight damage. Can I see. cast cure light wound on Twinkle? Because there's a barrier. Mm -hmm. A magical barrier. Yeah, really um, so <laughs> there's a fifty percent chance to hit the mirror image instead of mine. I thought he knew which one you were. It it's just how the that's just what the well, I roll for it. Uh, I don't know. It's just like a higher like low essentially. D six higher yeah, low. because if you hit that, then it's high is a hit, low is miss. Okay, he miss. So it absolutely obliterates your mirror image and just like shatters and magic splinters of your mirror image just kind of fly across the floor and you are left standing there alone. Like, oh, got him! So, so you thought... Ah. Um, <laughs> and then, so, I'm just gonna be like, I haven't lost this one. And I just point at him, and you just see flames erupt from the ground, and he lights on fire. Okay. Um, he can do a fortitude save to do half damage. 18. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he took, hey, thank he you, Big Jack, for the subscription. Hey. 46 hey. months, two more months. You got four years. Hey. Hey. That's awesome. So, he takes. So, are we rounding up or down? I don't remember. Up. I think up. Up, mm -hmm. so six damage. Okay. And, um. Love you, buddy. He's, since he made the save, he's not on fire. Okay. Yeah. So we'll he kind of he, he kind of gets hit by the, the cone, right? Brushes it off a little bit like this. It's just turning out much more pleasantly than I thought it would. And then he's just going to immediately um he's gonna immediately cast May Drummer. Nat twenty, it goes off. I'll do the same. <laughs> it goes off. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like it's I can like, do that too. This is nice. And he kind of turns to look and he's like, and he just nods. 
and then he turns around and he's gonna cast um hmm he's gonna cast another lightning bolt Nick. nat 19 yep. and the lightning bolt's going to hit you directly and do two damage as he kind of comes down with both hands just like <laughs> and the lightning bolt just like right on top of your head so I walk up a little and I'm just like you know this one <laughs> but this time instead of a flare coming out it's just a spray of different colors okay um, getting this man high so <laughs> it goes off um, he has to do a will save. Okay. Otherwise, he's blinded. Um, and that's off of intelligence. Oh no, will. Uh, that's seventeen. Ten plus three. That's your Castro level One. plus two. Yeah. No, yeah, he made it. Okay. Um, he kind of like waves it off, and he's like smiling at you again. He's like, "You are not bad at all." Just like wiping my hands off. I was like, oh, that's a gross one. <laughs> Does that spell hurt? Every time. <laughs> Poke it at me. <laughs> um, so he is going to Let's see real quickly. Ah. He's going to uh He's going to take both of his hands and kind of place them on you, right? And then he's going to cast Charm Person. Do I get an attack of opportunity since he's moving that close to me? Mm. Yeah, but it better be good. He rolled a nat 20. Um, To hit is... 17? Um... If it's even, it hits, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, it hits him. Sweet. Okay. Um, oh, it's not a lot of damage. Uh, it's one damage. <laughs> he said no. What did you do? What did you cast? I, oh, no. It was literally just my dagger that oh, okay. I have out. He okay. So he kind of like takes your dagger and he like grabs it from your hand, right? And he kind of like pulls it up and he looks at it and he's like, those are quite interesting carvings. I've seen this work before. And he like goes and he sheathes it back in your, in your pocket and he puts his hand on your chest and he's just going to cast magic missile. <laughs> and if you somehow, know. somehow he misses. <laughs> I just thought, uh, or just... destroys your mage armor. I thought magic missile, you don't have to roll to hit, or you just have to roll for it to cast. Yeah. But it did not cast. Oh, okay. Gotcha. He's got to, like, <laughs> smoke a little. I'm just like, <laughs> I, like, wipe it off of me. I'm, like, um, I'm actually going to take a five-foot step back and hold action. See what he does so next. He moved up to him, okay. and then you took a five-foot step back, essentially. Yep. Gotcha. He's going to reach his, reach his hand up. And put it like right above you and look right at you and smile. And he's just going to drop glitter dust and just a, a gigantic amount of gold just basically sprinkles and like showers over you. Right as he does that, the spell in the room lifts. You guys feel the force kind of like, and like kind of, you know, pull off of you. And then as the spell wraps around the room, everybody that's there is actually appeared. The two, the king and queen, kind of like dissipate in a spell. But, uh, as a uh, puff of smoke as they were an illusion but then you see that they are actually sitting there watching and then the whole court is there watching as well so as i see the glare dust come down i'm i was waiting for him to do a spell and so i cast windy escape essentially it turns me um vaporous and insubstantial so it just falls through me and i just kind of like step away he, got, he kind of claps and everyone else starts clapping oh. he's like i'm gonna heal him <laughs> tremendous, tremendous. He's already been healed. Oh, yeah, okay. the, the bubble was... The bubble, the bubble was... It, it made people, like, not be able to die or... Okay, got I'm it. Like, or actually be hurt. Like, they were, I'm, like, stepping away from the glitter. I was like, oh, this is the devil's magic. <laughs> <laughs> he claps and he turns around and he bows deeply to the king. He says, uh, Your graciousness, I do believe 
these to be the warriors that you were looking for. And he kind of goes and he walks up and he stands next to the king. So if you want to move him for me real quick, he just goes and walks up, stands next to the king, kind of puts his hand on the king's shoulder, leans down and kind of like nods at the king and says something. King Leon then says, you know, Elzara, you did say that you were going to give him a prize. And kind of like, you know, jokes and prods. And Elzara walks up to you. And he, uh, and he, and he kind of leans down because he's incredibly tall. And he leans down. And he's like, I did say I was going to give you a prize, didn't I? And he's, yeah. And he stands up and he holds his hands out. And as soon as he holds his hands out, you see a, a tome appear in his hands. Um, My eyes get real wide. I'm like... <laughs> the tome is old and gray it, its pages are tattered and torn some are hanging out the sorcerer hands hands it to twinkle and as soon as you hold it in front of you the center of the book glows with a singular cir circular pattern uh, the book cover slams open and, and glows even brighter as it rises up in the air in front of your face the pages turn and flutter until it stops on a random page you see in front of you a lake. It's the scene from Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, the pages uh, turn and flutter until it stops on a random page. You see in front of you a list of six spells, some known to you and others not. You touch the page and the six spells swirl around and the sorcerer reaches forward and shuts the book. Oh, do try not to use your one spell a day on burning down the throne room, please. And hands it back to you. I put it in my prison pocket. So once, it, so every day at midnight, the spell, the tome um, recycles its six spells that, that are in there and allows you the next day, uh, the next 12 hours to, or next 24 hours, excuse me, to use one spell at random. Uh, some again are known to you and some are not. And I'll provide you with the list of spells every session that you can like, uh, you know, use um once you hit it if the spell casts it uses your turn whether it hits or does anything like once once the, the tone is, is spoken it's just going to turn into old great book again um so the uh king leon uh waves for ajax to come over please take our prisoner to the cells and uh, he gra they grab King Harold and they kind of walk him out of the room. The doors open and they stay open. They grab uh, Captain Harold, excuse me, and they walk him out of the room, uh, Ajax and some of the other soldiers. Um, and King Leon says, I am sorry, my friends, for the test, but it appears that the situation across the Great Sea is a little bit more dire than we had anticipated. And we would like very much for you to help us uh, with this problem. And it may stretch further than a simple pirate uprising. But uh, you need we needed to test you. And of course, Head Sorcerer Elza, Elzara is uh, one of the strongest in the kingdom. And I, I wanted to know that you were all true of heart. You didn't fight. You trusted your friend to battle and your battle sh your friend showed great conviction in the battle um with quite a bit of creativity and the queen just kind of smiles at you a little bit um we hope that the swords and uh weapons that gendry crafted you will help you and aid you uh in your quest to come but it seems that as of tomorrow you will likely no longer be uh in galland and for a long time um, before we leave, uh, we are wondering if the court might have anybody who needs to buy or rent any property <laughs> while we're gone. Property? Yeah, we have an apartment. Yeah. Oh, we will buy it back from you for 500 gold. Huh? I mean, it's all, it's all And good. here's the 150 gold in reward for catching Captain Harold. So 650 split four ways. So you can do the map later. <laughs> 150, 200, 200. No, wait, what did I get? <laughs> no, it's 200. 200, 250. Why do I get? She doesn't need gold. I do need gold. And it's gone. Who else? Who else is gonna? You know. I'll figure it out later. Okay. Uh, so, the king stands up and he and he says, "We will have to see how." 
dangerous this new quest for you is across the sea. But we do not expect a return as a friend of mine dearest to me uh, brought news of something that might be an issue across the sea. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you more, but if you report to Admiral Theta at the docks in the morning, he will usher you across the Great Sea to help Queen Ferriset Ferriset of Apos with her pirate problem. So it was Admiral Theta? Admiral Theta. A good king. I was uh I was talking to Gendry, and he had mentioned an Asimar who was in town and he had to speak to you. Is there any way that uh, you could tell me where he's at, perchance? Solon has returned to his people. He's on a great quest. So, like, what's Solon's kind of deal? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, tell me more about him. Like, but I understand a little, but like, like, no more. I'm afraid you'd have to ask him yourself. He's not here. Seems like a mysterious type. Mm -hmm. Just know that he has always the best intentions at heart and is one of the great supporters of Galen. Did he leave a message for any of us by chance? No. Okay. My feelings are hurt. He should be. <laughs> well, huh? I don't want to leave you guys uh, sitting there not uh, conversing and having a good time anymore, talking to the court. Mm -hmm. I think we better get on our way and get some rest. We have a, a ship to catch in the morning, boys. We do. Take our many thanks from Galland, and the queen and queen both, uh, king and queen both stand up and start clapping as you guys leave, and everybody else is like clapping for you guys. I, like I say, this club that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I say, you're welcome to every single person as we walk out. <laughs> How many people are here? The whole court. Doesn't matter. Lots um, of them. Like, you're them. welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, so you guys you're exit. Really you guys exit the. Uh, hmm. So you guys are going to exit over here. You're going to be at the far corner or far. Nope, over there. I'm gonna get. Oh, rid you of... took them off. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Harold. Oh, thank you. Needed him, and Where's I'll take back. <laughs> Where's Coop? So we're over here. Cast. Yep, you guys. You guys are over here, just coming down the stairs, away from the uh, castle. <clears throat> As you guys exit the castle, you know it's getting kind of close to sundown. You know you've been hanging out for a little bit. You had an audience with the king at, no at high noon. Um, it's kind of getting close to sundown. And uh, you guys are, like, hearing a lot of hullabaloo down the streets as people are kind of, like, filing out of their houses and out of their workplace, closing up shop, kind of heading in the direction, like, over in here. Like, they're kind of moving this way. Um, Is there anybody I, that walks by us? Oh, yeah. I one. turn to them and I say, you're welcome. <laughs> well, well, okay, what, whatever. What, what's all the hubbub about? We're going to the party at the riot. A party for... The we the rebellion King Harold or Captain Harold was caught. I believe this is your cue. I'll do it for you. You're welcome. What? That was us. We did it. You I guys, you guys button. caught Captain Harold. Yep. Well, you should come to the ride. We'll buy you some drinks. I mean, I think that sounds like a I'm great quite idea. tired. Yeah. Let's go! And, like, you guys basically just kind of get swept up by the crowd. And you kind of start moving down. Before I get too swept up in the crowd, I'm going to be like, hey, guys, watch this. And I'm going to summon a pony. Okay. And I'm going to be up on the horse. <laughs> as, we, as we just ride through town. I'm yeah. Like, I'm like, just, like, looking at me like, so tall. <laughs> so everybody kind of like, ooh, like, yay! And then they're just kind of escorting you down you're welcome this you're street welcome. You're, you're as welcome. you guys get to the middle of the street you see a bunch of noise kind of coming from the way everyone was heading and you see like these two huge guys like one is big another guy is bigger and they're just like pushing their way through the crowd towards you guys boys this looks uh not so chill Yes. I try to, like, because there's a lot of people around, right? Quite a bit, yeah. I try to, like, 
and just like kind of like sneaks so that I can still see him, but like less notice. Everybody starts walking, like all the people around you start walking towards them, and they're just kind of letting them in, but they're like kind of putting their hands on them and like stopping them for a second. Can, can I stealth with the crowd? You can try. Like blend in. Not great. <laughs> 18. 18. Um, so yeah, so as you guys are kind of walking up a little bit, you start walking up, they're walking out, making their way through the crowd, but they're in the exact way that you guys want to go. And the crowd is like really dispersing. There's not a lot of people left anymore. Um, there's a few people kind of like getting by you. And they're just kind of like letting them go, but they're putting hands on them again. And then they kind of make eye contact with you guys standing over there. Hello oh, there. What I want to try and like stay with like a tall person, just like trying to like try and get to the side of them. God, as we got, as we're like head coming head. towards each other, mm -hmm. the horse is gonna disappear, and I'm just gonna kind of like fall from like in between its legs. It's gonna just I'm just gonna kind of walk down and be like, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna be in front of all these boys. Just you know, I'm gonna kind of like, is there anything I can help you with? As you as you approach, you notice one of them is a human. He's got like dark hair, a really big mustache, very muscular. The other one is actually a half orc. Same thing, brown hair, mohawk, really big mustache, and he is even more muscular than the other guy. And um, they kind of like they see you guys, and they immediately just like crunch their fists, and they're like, "Are you guys the guys that killed Captain Brask?" Or Lieutenant Brask. What ails you? Why would you want to know this? <laughs> Nothing ails me other than people slitting my brother's throat when he's laying on the ground asleep. <laughs> First of all, how would he know? I'm like... I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess news travels fast here. <laughs> Bad guess travels fast. I just hit our first, and I'm like, wow, I can't believe you're a fucking deer that. that. Wait, who'd you do that to? Our turns. Oh. What? I was uh, just asking. I was like, all right. Bye. <laughs> uh, uh, that makes what I was about to do a lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> no. Roll for initiative. I even <laughs> said that I was in fucking front. Oh. So. oh. Hey, yo. Damn it, I even got improved initiative. <laughs> What'd you roll? Fucking four. <laughs> I get a nine. I got a 19. What 23. Oh my god. <laughs> All these great numbers. <laughs> I'm in front and I'm going last. <laughs> no, I think I'm going. Wait, what was your total? Nine. Oh, yeah. I'm going, I'm going after you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, I literally spent my whole, like, the only thing I, yeah, my initiative's going to be great. Yeah. Four. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice. <laughs> uh, Kyron, you got 23. 23? Or the others before you. Yeah. I was like. Uh, could you grab me a modal? Yeah. Oh, so they're trying to attack us. Maybe I should start doing me. less talking yeah. again. <laughs> what did you roll? What did you roll? A nine. What did you roll? I roll, oh, I roll 19. Okay. And you? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Small damage. Yeah. <laughs> Just whisper to you, like, maybe I should do less talking than I've done. They worked out better. I was going to lie to them. So, <laughs> the, the, uh, the human looks up to the, uh, to the half orc and says, kill him, Newt. And they both just start, like, charging head first right at you guys. Um, Kyron, you are going to get to go first. Ew. We agree 10 feet with my weapon? Yes. Yes. I have a 10. Yes, you do. I'll step in the corner of the building and, as a swift action, using one of my moats. It's a full action. You can use a swift action after. Okay. It's a full action. Did I say it was a swift action last week? I think so. Did I? I think it's, I, I, think I remember right. I'll let you do it. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's good. My bad. And I mean, I wouldn't be in range to be able to actually attack. No, I, yeah, no. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm totally okay with it being a swift action. I think. Throw it at... 
I'll go for the strong one. We'll throw it at the half orc. Okay. Uh, not 20. Someone's okay. gotta do it. Right, no. Confirm it? Yeah, confirm. Confirm it. Uh, 8 plus 7, so it'd be 15. Did that beat his AC? No. Okay, so it's just a regular attack. Do you want to describe it? Um, yeah, so I'll reach for my wagasashi in like a head pose position and then throw it and it appears behind him comes back and sheathes itself back into its sheath okay roll for damage four damage okay All right, so as you do that, it kind of catches him off guard as it kind of slices by him. And he's just like, oh, like, oh watch out. They got some weird blade thing. Can I pretend that I did that? <laughs> A bluff? Bluff deck? Yeah. Okay. I... <laughs> okay, sure, sure. And then as my actual action. Uh, it was uh, 19, or it was either it was either 19 or 20. It was a 19. So he kind of stands there like, oh, watch out. They got some sort of weird magic and I don't even know who did that. And then as my action, I'll take out my actual. Okay. Arturis. Uh, so I am going to make my way over here in front of the bard because he is fragile. And... <laughs> You're real. Oh, sorry, chat. Here we go. Oh, okay. there you go. My bad. That was my bad. Um, and then I'm going to get out my sh uh, shield and spear. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look right at the orc and be like, come on, I'm next. Okay. And then I'm going to get in a defensive stance, full defensive. Okay. Ooh. So Boggs is the human, right? And he is going to... Um, he's going to just, like, run. Right. I mean, he is coming right at you, right, with everything he has. And he's going to try and kind of, like, grab your shield and, like, reach up and, like, knee you from the side, kind of. He's, like, going to try and, like, he's getting as close as he can to you. Uh-huh. Which one is that one? The, the, the humans on oh, the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be at a barricade. Uh, he, he goes 20. Uh, my that's against my CMD, correct? Uh, yes. Um, and I get the plus four from full dis, uh, from mm -hmm. yeah, whatever is twenty two is uh what okay. he would need. Okay, so he kind of grabs it, grabs your shield, and like swings, but kind of you know smacks your armor a little bit, but kind of stays engaged with you nice and tight. Rondoth. I am going to. I'm still going to try. Whatever it is you heard we did, it was only out of self-defense. <laughs> Your previous captain, he was your brother. He was not who he was when you knew him. He is a different man. He has been tainted by an evil, evil man. And then I'm going to kind of stand by hand him and it's, I'm going to prepare... So if nothing happen, if he doesn't take damage, then I'll have nothing will happen. But if he takes damage, I'm gonna immediately have cure light wounds ready to go, okay. so that essentially like they'll cut him and then it'll just heal right. And he just kind of like kind of looks at you and he's like, "Shut up, little man." Was Thomas <laughs> Twinkle. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go ahead and be like, "Yeah, he did it to himself," and then shoot. <laughs> shoot my crossbow at the at the human. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, too late. He did it. Damn. What'd you roll? Uh, total eight. Okay, so you're gonna like reach out and be like, yeah, he did it to himself, and you're gonna squeeze one off, and it's it's just gonna <laughs> barely catch the side of Arturus's ear because he's like right in front of you, he's like, Phew! right next to him. Just look around. And I'm like. Watch yourself, not me, them, Twinkle. As I'm like actively starting to pull. <laughs> Move next time. 
Please. <laughs> so Newt is going to uh, take a take a, a run at you. So he sees that Boggs has reached up and grabbed your shield and kind of has you and has tried to knee you. And now Newt is going to kind of like try and jump over and like clothesline you, right? He's literally going to try and jump over and clothesline you. And that is a... Hmm. Okay, so would he be considered grappled because someone else is grappling him? Did they succeed on the grapple? No. Then no, not yet. Okay, all right. So uh, that's a 19. No. Okay. So he like jumps over and totally misses you, like trying to like trying to grab you because you just like slip his slip his arm real quick while you're in the shield, mm -hmm. and he lands kind of behind you, uh, basically, yep, like oh. right behind you. And now it is Kyron's turn. See that as an opportunity because he's grabbing his shield, right? Yep. Well, no, 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 he's not because he fit. Remember, yeah, he he, he's just in front of me. He tried to grab like, his shield. I, I, like, I feel like he grabbed his shield and tried to knee you, and he didn't. He still has your shield, but like but he's like, not grappling not you. He's weird. grappling like your shield. He's like holding on to your shield. He tried to knee you, but he couldn't. In that case, I'm gonna get right behind this guy. Okay. Fucking <laughs> like. like I mean, I don't. I can't come up with anything cool to say, so I'm just gonna. Spell the blood. <laughs> okay. Spell the blood. I spell it even. Come on, bitch in here. Then I run away. <laughs> That's <laughs> <mean>. <laughs> Um. Nope. Six. Okay. So sixteen doesn't hit. Yeah, Is he? Can. No. Plus two. No. Uh, yeah, you're flanking, so you do get plus uh, two for that. Plus two. Is he flat-footed? Because he's trying. Holding on to this shield. Um. Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay, so it would be 16. Did it say 15, 16, 17. That hits. Oh, I'm missing. What are you missing? Oh, oh that's not great. Uh, <laughs> another four. Okay. So you kind of like slice him in the back, right? As he's like trying to, you know, get a hold of, of Arturus. And he kind of like takes it and just turns around and he's literally going to, uh, well, actually it's your turn, Arturus. All right. He's not there yet. Well, uh, I think I'm just going to move right there. So I'm not being surrounded by enemies here. And, uh... I am going to take my spear and I'm going to, you know, up in my stance and go ahead and lunge at the, uh, well, before I, I lunge at this half ogre, I'm going to say. Half orc. Half orc, sorry. Yeah, half half orc. orc. Um, I'm going to say, at any time you can stop this. This is up to you. You know, you know what your brother was doing out here. He's going to turn around. He's going to get kind of low. He's just going to growl at you and he's going to say, he wasn't my brother, but you should be the one who runs. He's going to do Intimidation. 17. Two against your... Uh, um, could be a will? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 12. Okay, so yeah. you are... Uh, you, you believe him. I, I like, actually... He, um, you believe that... Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe maybe you should not be the one that, that that's here. Maybe you should run. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to say... Fair point, well made. <laughs> uh, so how about we talk this out? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep up my shield. You know, at this point, I, I'm not sure if I can do this. Okay. Yeah, this might be out of my uh, paper in my wheelhouse. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Boggs, the one that you moved away from and you just tried to slash in the back, is gonna turn around and he's just gonna like. Right for your face. He's going for an unarmed strike. Right to your face. I'll see it. 23. Holy shit. Okay. So, he's gonna, like, reach up there, and he is just gonna... He's just gonna, like, kind of... You hit him, you, he's, gonna, he's gonna turn around and just left hook you. Right across the face, you take three damage. My face! That's the money made. Rondo. Oh, my God. So... The half orc is facing away from. They're both facing away from me at the moment. Yep. Um. I have. Let's see. That is a board. There's a. What's uh? So right here behind me, there's like little uh, just like a little stand with like random stuff on it. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, some food, some bread. There's maybe like a cheese wheel or two. You see a little bit of uh, like bottles of wine, maybe. You know, it's like a little, someone's like small where they sit on a box and like peddle some of their their uh, food wares. Um, I don't think I have enough time to go make a shank with a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> so. They defeat these guys prison style. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to take my cello off my back and try to overhead this guy in the back of the head. Okay. Big money, big money, big money. It was a natural one. <laughs> when... Okay, so as you do that, you're going to like miss. He's going to just like flip it real quick. He's going to take a a quick hop back, because he was kind of hunched down and low, like ready to pounce. He's going to grab your hand, and he's just going to sling you across, and he is uh, quite strong, so you're actually going to get slung across the the little hall, hallway that you guys are standing in right there. There's like a little, uh, yep, like a, a fence. Nope, you're going to get slung into the fence, and you are going to take three damage. Ow. He's just, like, you're just going to swing oh, the chill down, he's going to grab you and just throw you in front of him. <laughs> And then he just looks right back at you. Like, you're the one who should not be here. Well, he just slung one of my best friends ever into the fence, so <laughs> I'm not happy about that. So I'm going to I'm gonna start giving him the look back. It's battle time, baby. Twinkle. The bidness. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cast Ghost Sound. And I'm going to have it go off. So it sounds like somebody is like... <laughs> talking over here okay. trying to get both of them to just kind of like take a glance over okay see if i can get them distracted for a All second right, let me see here that's a will save um yeah i think so uh, it does not distract the one who's engaged with kieran who just cl clocked him and the other one is a 16 it, yeah it saves okay so you kind of the sound goes off these guys are hard in battle it's like they're, they're battle beasts, right? Like, it goes off and they don't even care. They're just super focused. Um, so, this time, uh, Newt is right in front of you, staring you down, right? He's actually going to, like, run and try and jump over you and turn around and hit you right on the back. Or, like, he's just going to come down with his, with his bare fist and crush you if he can. Uh, that is a... <laughs> is this non-lethal damage you're doing? <laughs> um... I mean, it is with bare fists. Yeah, it's bare fists. It can still do damage. Oh, the... that's right. If it's it can like, still yeah. do lethal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if they were trying to do non-lethal. Non so do I roll for the acrobatics first, right? I don't know. We did kill her. I think that's brother. up to you. Yeah, I think, mean, yeah. Okay, so he does. He jumps over, and he comes down, right? And he is going... Natural 20. So he comes, he jumps over, he is angry, he jumps over you, right? You see him fly over, he comes down, and he just catches you, but he doesn't get the full extension he wants, and he just drops his elbow right on one of your shoulders, and you are going to take five damage. Kyron. So I saw that, right? Yeah. Saw him jump over. Uh -huh. Let's try the same thing. Okay. Into that space. Oh, sorry. So is he on the back side of me now? He's on the back side of you, yeah. 16. 26 for the acrobatics. You do the same thing. You jump. You literally watch him do it, and you're just going to jump Shiny. right over. Oh, he's right Fox. next to me. Yeah. And then. Damn. I would have done attack two. Two attack. That. Not great. I got hit by uh, <laughs> 16. Uh, that does not hit. All right, so I miss. And then... Uh, Your sword comes down and he just kind of like moves, right? Ching! Clearly he's fought with Newt before and knows that move. As a free action, I'm going to use him out of time to add to my AC until the beginning of my next turn. Okay. Oh, that's going to be good. So I get one. Arcturus. <laughs> All right. I'm going to uh, look back at Newt. And well, he, he, you are, he's behind you. 
he just came down behind you on your yeah well, like, look, look oh you're, back you're, you're okay gotcha gotcha yeah go turn yeah, around gotcha. Gotcha. uh sorry i should have said just turn around yeah yeah back. yeah i was like look back you're gonna be like hey what's up hey <laughs> um and uh i'm going to look him in, i'm gonna look at him and i'd uh, say you know newt in another life we could have been friends you sure you want to fight for somebody else's brother's death He's just gonna like snarl at you. He's Stab like, him in the face. This isn't. <laughs> this isn't much of a fight. I'm, I'm gonna try to stab him in the face. Okay. In the face. Uh, twenty, not nat. It hits. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. <laughs> uh, eight damage. So. You just like kind of turn around. You say that he growls at you, and right as he growls, you can see he's about to like open his mouth and like say something. And you just take that opportunity to just slam your spear right into him, and it cuts him right down the side of his uh, side of his face, and his jaws kind of hanging there. They call me the dentist in the Iron Veil. Like, yeah, I'm like back yeah, yeah. right there. I'm like, yeah, Hulk man. So. Boggs is going to turn around, and as he's going to turn around, he's going to go for another gigantic left. But this time, he, because you dropped your sword, he's going to try and stick it right there. I try and, like, stab him as he goes to do this. What? Because he's facing away from me. No, 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 that's the other guy. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. damn it! Yeah, that's what I was like, what? Damn it. So, you jump over him, you come down with your sword, he slips it comes around and just totally like catches you right in your ribs and he's actually going to break a rib and do four four damage to you. Uh, Rhonda. Uh, I'm going to use perception and look around to see if I can see any people looking either out of their houses or around corners. Just people, anybody around in, okay. in general. Oh, that is a whopping 28. Okay, so you look around. You don't see anyone on, like, ground level, but you see, like, one person kind of looking down from, like, an open shutter, like, window in, in like, the roof of a, of a little building. You just see one someone kind of, like, peeking and watching. I'm going to very, very loudly proclaim... Um, uh. <laughs> 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 it's okay, I thought I was talking to the king earlier. <laughs> People of Galland, your heroes are in need. These... Uh-oh. These barbaric warriors are trying to attack us for protecting and saving you. This is your time to help us as we have helped you. Man, I'm, there's a roll. So you diplomacy. see the... Diplomacy, yeah. yeah. That is a 20. Okay, so you see the eyes like kind of looking out of the, the little shuttered window and they just disappear for a second, right? And you don't hear anything, you don't see anything. And all of a sudden, they come back, and two little, like, sharp kitchen knives fly out of the window, and then they reach out and they grab the thing, and they're like, okay! <laughs> <laughs> These kitchen knives hit the dudes, or? They just threw they them just out. Play? They just threw them out. Like they were right dudes. here. They were right here, kind of looking out this window, and they just threw the kitchen knives on the ground, like, like yep, four or five go. feet. Here you go. <laughs> but they look kind of sharp, maybe. <laughs> the map's bit like keeps autofocus like base boosting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a heartbeat. The heartbeat, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the city's alive. Live from the garden. Who's close to death? <laughs> um let's see if I like There you go. Hey uh... <laughs> Okay. Um, but yeah, so since that didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to shift to here so mm -hmm. that both of these boys are going to get their flanking bonus. Okay. And then I'm going to hold my cello up and just be pre okay. prepared oh, to. Get Twinkle. Nobody's, Nobody's going to get a flanking, flanking bonus. bonus. You Dude, that's between. us. 
Okay. They're protecting me then. Um, yeah, there I am double protected with my jello. I'm gonna cast. Everyone's just doing flips over everyone. <laughs> Uh, uh, facade, though, like, you know? like I'm drunk and doesn't know what's going on. People Jesus. throwing knives out windows. Uh, I'm gonna do touch of fatigue. So okay, while he's focused over there, I'm just like, Shh. um. Just on this so yes, yeah, so a roll, <laughs> a roll of fortitude save. Okay, it's to be 14, 13. 21. You're feeling good. And 21. I just, just like, my bad. I just miss him. I'm like. And uh, so Newt, who is now standing and face to face with you, is gonna see you out of the corner of your eye, like try and put hands on. And he's gonna like turn down to you. He's gonna try and grab you and hit you, or hit you with him. I get an attack of opportunity if he's trying to grab him. As okay. do I. Trying to grab you though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for grapples, you can get. Well, let's go. Uh, that's not gonna be great. Not great. That's not great. Oh. I, got a, I, got, I got a whopping eight. I rolled a natural two. I got eight. Roll a five. The both of you are like, hey, like, <laughs> he reaches forward, right? He reaches forward to to or reaches to the side to grab you, and he sees both of you kind of you like hold up your hand to do something, and it just fizzles out in your hand. The spell does, and you kind of like you know slice your spear at him one more time and it just like slowly goes on the back side of his head when you cut him he kind of misses and he goes to throw a punch right at you and he misses and he crushes the stone behind you you got this twinkle (laughs) so now he is facing you and he just like he grabbed missed and just in the same motion Threw down his his fist right at your face, and you barely dodged it. <laughs> oh, well, here I go. <laughs> Aww. Kyren. I'm gonna keep swinging at this dude. Okay. Is, I'm your enemy right now. So let's go. 18, which is a crit. Do uh do me roll right now. A d6. High is the pain from your broken rib. Lowers your roll. Low keeps it the same. One. Okay, so it's the same. Uh, you fight through the pain, even though you have a broken rib. So then confirm the crit. Another 18. Okay. A crit. A crit. So it's times two. <laughs> My God. Five. Seven points of damage. Okay. You want to describe it, or... Uh, I mean, I'm just engaged in the heat of battle with this man's. <laughs> okay. So, like, even though your ribs are now broken, you, like, hold up your hand, which, because his hand was down there, it just hit your ribs. You pull it up and just right across his chest, and you cut him real deep, real good. Like, lots of blood. You're seeing some little bit of spurts, and he's not happy. Uh, Arturis. All right. So, I'm going to see um, Newt. Start to try to hit Twinkle. Use this as a little bit of an opportunity. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and uh, try talking to him. This guy isn't very receptive, so I'm just going to try to stab him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the dog didn't work. I've tried multiple times. This is not a man of reason. It's not a man. And that is... He's half orc. Well, he's half a man. Uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't get the reasoning half. Yeah. Uh, 25. Okay, hits. Actually, if something says half orc, it's halfling orc. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> no, 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 please, God, no. Uh, <laughs> 11 damage. It's a normal size person. You want to describe it? Uh, yeah, so he he just swung real hard, and as soon as he does that, I see that opening right in the side. I'm going right for that kidney and seeing if I can go and uh, puncture him real good there. Your sun spear drives deep inside of him, kind of slicing, and you twist a little bit as you pull out, and you notice a gigantic <laughs> hole just, like, oozing blood out of there as he lets forth just, a like, a loud scream. He's just like, Rah! it's almost more beast than man, how pain, how, how much in pain he is right now. Um, you your chance. So, uh, he's going to see the... Like, he knows he broke your ribs, right? When he hit him, he felt the crunch, 
and then he kind of saw you like kind of kick it up and like hit it he thinks you're in pain he's gonna just like kind of rear back even though you sliced him and he's gonna go for your rib one more time um twitch <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, so he's hurt real bad from that slice you did on him. He rears back and he swings, and you're able to just kind of like get out of the way a little bit, even though you're like still hurting pretty bad. Uh, and that's gonna be Rondoff. So, I'm gonna wipe my path that night. <laughs> <laughs> um, he just got stabbed. Yep. And then he is looking... So he's definitely looking more hurt, though. Um, I... This is, like, towards the end of the night? It's all, Yeah, it's almost dark. I am going to... Shift and then summon my uh, other three cellos, and we're just gonna like all four of them slam down on them. Okay, got this. <laughs> Ooh, that's not cash money. That's not cash money. It, is a, it wasn't a, a it wasn't off. a one, but I missed. Okay, um, so he's not as hurt as you think he is. When you reach up, he sees the cellos kind of appear out of air, and he just kind of like bounce back, and he gets in like a ready position, kind of hops back and go like hand on the ground and like foot kind of back, and like starts to like peel off. Twinkle. I am just like I'm kind of like stuck because there's like boxes behind me, mm -hmm. and there's not really room to my left, and so I'm like. Is he looking at me or is he looking He's at He's looking at you. I'm just like, I'll stab him. Uh, <laughs> Here I go yeah, stabbing yeah. again. Uh, 13. Oh boy. <laughs> 13. 13. Uh, yeah, that misses. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I'm just hey, yeah. I <laughs> um, So, right. Newt being just stabbed by you is going to turn around and try and like backhand you, right? Because he is in a lot of pain, and that is not very good. So, then, so him? The disrespect. Him. So then I can take an attack of opportunity while he attacks? No, he's because he's attacking. No. Okay. No, he's, he's, just, he's just going a backhand. Like, he's just going a backhand. Okay. Um, but he did roll one. So he's going to turn around and back, try and backhand you. And as he does that, you kind of see him, like, hold that part in his side and like he turns around he's just like oh like that and he just kind of like falls kind of close to you so i will give you an attack of opportunity thank you <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to give me an attack of opportunity joys uh 10 it does not hit <laughs> well I, at least i took it sure <laughs> give me that dice for <laughs> so like he gets a little closer than you think he was gonna you kind of over miss and you like Got to come to slice your spear down, and it just like hits over him a little bit as he like kind of falls towards you. It kind of just hits above him. You just aimed a little off there, uh, and then it's going to be Kyron. I'm I'm sticking this out. So he just tried to punch my rib, and he missed. Yep. Which side is it? Your right side. Yeah. So right it's, side? he's going left-handed on you. Let's see. Here's a ball. So please and thank you. I'm going to. Go around his left side. Okay. To try and protect my right side. Okay. And then, like, dodge his punch and then swing at him. Okay. Thank you. Oh, 14. Does not hit. But. Wait, there's more. Uh, uh, I'm going to use a moat to. Increase my AC. Four. So my AC is 24 right now. Okay. Hell yeah. Arturis. Uh, well, I 
didn't quite hit the mark last time, but I'm sure this time I will. Okay. And uh, actually, who the look at dude? One more chance to repent. You can save yourself. <laughs> you just give up. That's all I'm asking. Just stay, stay out of the fight. He kind of like holds his side as he's like kind of in front of you. He's like, but the Brasks never give up. I can't give up now. Well, Trad, stab him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, well. oh no, he didn't get in. You chose your end. <laughs> oh, that was... again. Then so you like kind of swing oh, over him and he like ducks <laughs> down out of it. So you come down, you miss the first one because he's a little lower, and then you like try and cut across with your spear, and he just like dips in and out of it a little bit. He's got a little bit of fight left Mike in him. Tyson over here. Um, so as you kind of slip to the side and try to stab him, he moves around, and he's going to like come in with like a hook, and he's going to aim for your other body, and his idea is he hopes to break ribs on that side. Uh, that's a uh, 16. So he doesn't again. He just, you know, swings at you at the right and you just kind of like quickly sidestep it. You're out of the way. Ronda. Um, this dude's about to get fucking smashed on the head. He just, uh, he, he he's just like, he's looking at him. He's just like, did his little duck. And as soon as he like does the one to this way, mm -hmm. I'm just going to sit there and Barry Bonds his ass. You're actually in front of Newt, not... Bogs. So you're, you're yeah, 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 I was saying, so he made, oh, oh, to, yeah, yeah, yeah I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He like, okay. goes like that, and then he does the thing to the totally, side. Totally, yeah. And as soon as no, he does that, I'm just going to try to plink, do it. Plink, plink, boop the noggin. Come on, home run derby. That is a 17. Uh, does not hit. Fuck. <laughs> Winkle. I'm like, okay. These guys are a little too thick. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pay attention to me. Uh, and then I'll shoot a ray of frost at him. Goes off. Holy fuck, baby. Um, <laughs> yeah. Game is good. No saving throw. Thank you, Jesus. Um, oh, I have to like, succeed on a range touch attack. The, what's it? It says touch AC less, equal to or less than 13. It's higher. His touch? Uh, that's just his base AC without boosters, right? With, uh, without dexterity and without armor. Yes, it's higher. Fuck. <sighs> Get right, dude. Sorry, Mike. Mm. I mean, I haven't hit shit all day. <laughs> so, um, Newt kind of stands there, and he's still, like, bleeding from this, like, gaping hole. And he's like, I have to avenge Lieutenant Brask. And he's just going to, like, raise up a bloody hand and just swing right at <laughs> your face, dude. And he does not hit anything. Like, get it out of here. He just reaches back, punches, and hits your armor. And it just kind of, like does nothing like just sounds true just <laughs> Tyron well, I'm gonna help him oh do you want to continue this little game of dance and song oh, the map, to the death the map camera's oh. freaking out again or you you can choose not to not to do this to the death he says for brasks same thing Boop. okay yep man Flash him again. Not great, but... Uh, 17. Uh, that hits. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Two, and then I'm going to use a moat to add damage. Four damage to six. Eight. Eight damage. Total. Okay. So, you, like, kind of dodge to the side again, and you can tell he's kind of getting frustrated because he wants to go for your ribs, and he's not paying attention, and you just, like, lift up your blade and slice down, and now he's got a gigantic, like, 
X right in the middle of his chest, just like cut through, dripping with blood. Uh, looks like X marks the spot, my friend. Um, pirates. He's going to he's going to spin around and try and do. He's a little frustrated and spin around and try and do like a like a back sidekick on you and like basically like yeah he's just gonna like spin and just try and put his foot like right on your chest uh and so he does that and he like kind of misses as you just like yep and his his foot his heel just goes like that and you just miss he misses uh Rondoff. so i miss when i like go to swing for this guy mm -hmm. i like look over because i that's kind of that's what i missed because i kind of took my eye off the ball and i saw him slash the other guy okay i'm then gonna come up behind him and be like like i just I like i basically i'll allow you to go here since you were right pretty much right there you can swing through and go there but if you keep oh, swinging you can't go well, no, no, this, no 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 this is like a movement Oh, I thought you were going to swing and, like, continue your swing and hit him. My oh, I, I, yeah, and I basically, like, swung and, like, saw, and I was, like... And, oh, I see what you're saying, okay. And, like, but then I see that... The yeah, so yeah you can go behind him. Yeah, sure. so, oh. so, yeah, I was, like, oh, oh I'm going to come over here and just, like, opportunity. hit him in the back of the head. Okay. Come on. I'll give Come you a plus two flanking for sure. Yes! Yeah. There's, like, a 25 at least. Okay, it's you a, describe <laughs> your hit. So, yeah, he gets the cut on his... Uh, uh, cuts on his chest, and he's, like... Is his foot? And he's, like... And then he goes, I guess X marks the spot. I'm just going to come up and just hit him right in the back of the head. Come on. And be like, I missed the spot. Okay. <laughs> Roll for it in. I missed the spot. Um... That is a five. Okay. So you kind of hear like this cracking as you like connect with the with the blow, you just hear like this, right? And like you can feel just, it gives. He falls forward, but kind of like catches himself and just like shouts in pain. There's splinters of like cello as yours like kind of repairs back to normal. His, his you know, like back and everything has like wooden splinters in it from where your cello just like shattered right on the back of his head. Um, Twinkle. Great Frost. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. 21. It is. Uh, oh, wait, no, that was to go off. Fuck. Natural 20 to hit. Does that mean that I doubled? The... No. No. Oh, yeah. Touch AC. Or... No, it doesn't mean I doubled it. Um... You know what it means it goes off with a little pizzazz. Pizzazz! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's four damage. Four damage? Yeah. Okay, where'd you hit him at? You want to describe your hit? Yeah, I'm like, oh, God, fucking hands. Just like, um, and then like, just like this little ice cold bolt just goes, and just. Uh, okay. So you hit him in, you hit him in the back, and he's just like, oh, like that, just like growling, foaming at the mouth, blood kind of, he's like actually biting his lips a little bit as he growls. He's in, in immense amounts of pain. He blew his um, hands back out. <laughs> as he, yeah. as he does that, he's going to like grab at the, at the ice, right, and pull it out. And then he's going to, like, grab it, and he's going to try and, like, sh jam it in, in your neck. Who could have foreseen this? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you gave him a weapon. 20. Uh, uh AC's 22. Yeah. Okay. So he, he, like, pulls it out. As he pulls it out, he takes a little bit of damage because it was in there pretty good, right? So I'll give him that. Takes a little bit of damage. Um... And he pulls it out, and he goes to, like, shatter it on your neck. And right as it gets close to your neck, it just disappears. And his fist kind of hits it and does really nothing. You see me, like, right in my, right my notebook? Like, don't make ice sharks. Stop giving our enemies <laughs> weapons, Twinkle. You're never helping. <laughs> I <Hello>, <laughs> Goku. Hi, Blancy. Love you, buddy. Um, so then he just got hit over the head with the cello. Is he, he facing... did indeed. If he is he facing me, he's or facing he you. Him? Yeah, okay. he got hit in the back of the head with the cello. So then I tell him, "No, the spot is right here," and I'm going to aim and try and stab right where the X is. Okay. Uh, teaching me how to read maps. Learn. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. What's that? Eighteen. Again, eighteen. That hits. Um, I'm gonna put a little Give the extra stuff. oomph on it. Three, so three plus. 
mean, <laughs> that's not great, but... You, you did uh, pay a little extra. No, a little. A little bit. Okay, so you, like, do it, and you barely miss the spot, but when you do that, the knife, j your your blade, like, cuts through and just pokes out his back as he kind of, like, starts slumping <laughs> over and just, like... That wasn't quite the spot, but... I'm now you can really like back. <laughs> Arturis. Um, well, um... This guy hasn't been having a hot run, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop my spear down and try to thrust up at his chest and see if I can go ahead and end this fight with a natural 20. We'll see. That, didn't, that wasn't a natural 20, but... Uh, 15. Does not hit. <laughs> you're a little shaking like that ice was right there and you saw it coming and then it just disappeared right and it hit him and you're just like and you go for the thrust and he just kind of like backs up a little bit but then he like groans and he like holds his holds his side again uh so the guy that's like sitting on your blade or like you've stabbed is gonna grab the blade and he's gonna like try to kind of pull it out and as he pulls it out you just kind of like and stick it right back in and then and then he just dies right on your blade i take it like as he's falling i take it out and kind of like get all the blood off okay ronda um when as soon as he dies as he like pulls the sword out mm -hmm. i'm gonna kind of like grab the guy by the like his his back of his thing so he, i can like kind of hold him up okay i'm gonna Roll call me a strength check this guy's fucking huge. <laughs> He's got just... 16. I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. What? 16? <laughs> you, go to grab, you go to grab him, and this guy is just all muscle and, like, dead weight, and he just, like, boom, to the ground. Okay. Like a sack of potatoes. Well, in that case, I'm still going to call over to Newt and be like, do you see this? Everything you're fighting for is dead now. <laughs> Soon you will be too. Uh, holy <laughs> intimidation shit. Check. How how dead is this dude? Fucking dead. Like Ooh, real dead. Super dead. Like not Man, being able boy. to be healed dead. Hmm? Not being able to be healed dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was a twenty seven. Well, okay, so <laughs> he's gonna kinda look over at you and he kinda like thinks for a second, he's like, This is really pretty man, just tell me I'm gonna die here. <laughs> and he's like and he's like, yeah. Carefully. And he grabs his dagger and just shoves it right into his chest and falls over. I die on my own turn. <laughs> I technically still haven't killed anyone, so... <laughs> <laughs> I just made it well tonight. You <laughs> just led to the... <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the two guys lay there. As they lay there, you kind of hear in the distance, like... Chink, chink, chink. Someone's got a lot of change in their pocket. As, <laughs> and then as soon as as soon as uh as soon yep. as it gets like louder, you guys see out of out of nowhere, you see Captain Ajax followed by like a shorter man in like one of those really long like hats, right? Uh with some tassels off his shoulders and stuff like that. And they come running up. They come running up and they're like, What what is happening here? We were attacked by these men. Attacked by who? Says the little short guy. Uh, they said their names were Boggs and Newt. They were Boggs. not. Ajax walks over to, to, to both of them and he lifts up Newt. I don't recognize him. And he walks over to Boggs and he kind of lifts up Boggs and he's like, this was Boggs Brask, Lieutenant Brask's younger brother. And drops his head back down. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm just, with the, every time I see someone with a sword, call someone else their brother. I'm like, oh, they're just brothers. Could go either way. He kind of, he kind of stands up from leaning down, and he, and he waves some of his men over, and he's like, clear these bodies, make sure the, the, the stone pathway is, is uh, washed. I'm like, right, 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 right. And I like check the half orc for, some gold. All right, roll me a stealth check. Wait, are you doing it stealthily to, like, make sure, or are you doing it in view of Captain Oh, no, I'm like, these Ajax. are dead bodies. There should be nothing wrong with this. Okay, so, mm -hmm. yeah, roll me. Roll, um... <laughs> so, you kind of reach down there, and, and Captain Ajax is like, what are you doing? Well, he's dead. He doesn't need his gold, right? You can do that at a later date, not in front of the... The okay, that's of fair. The citizens. That's fair, that's fair. And he just drag and he and the men start dragging him off. 
about that time, the shorter guy who was looking at Boggs kind of turned around and whistles and goes, Woo-hoo-hoo, this must have been, this must have been a fight. You uh-huh. guys had a brawl, huh? It was, it was light work. It wasn't that bad. We've taken out entire fortresses, so <laughs> he kind of looks and at you. Entire fortress. Uh, roll me a uh, deception, or yeah. Ooh, buddy. Three sixteen. Hold him like a big shot. Twenty five. So he kind of looks you up and down, right? And you were, you know, you were like, I'm cleaning off. My yeah, face. you were kind of like a little off to the side, a little bit, but then he looks you up and you kind of like stand up, like kind of hiding the broken rib that you have underneath there. Start cleaning your blade, and he's like. Easy work indeed, boys. Easy work indeed. Nothing but a flesh wound, and then I use a potion. <laughs> and then, so, so the guy kind of stands up, walks a little closer to you guys, and you notice that, you know, he's like a middle-aged man. Um, oh, hold on, let me get my sheet out. He's a, uh, a middle-aged man, a little weathered, you know, a lot of sun in his face. Um, real smiley. You know, it says, uh, you know, that must have been a beatdown. I haven't seen a good fight uh, in years. He's like, my name is Admiral Feta. I was told I might find you boys down this way. And I'm here to tell you, I'm your right across the great sea. Ah, we were looking for you, actually. Well, it looks we were... like you found some trouble, didn't you? Yeah, we were just on our way to, what is it? The, the riot. riot? Yeah. We heard there was a little shindig going oh, on. Oh, I know the riot. Me and the riot go back. Long time. <laughs> this guy knows. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. You see the I battle of the parts? The bat? No, no. Oh, you missed sea. it. I I heard about He's the battle. Like, I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put my yeah. Me and this guy go way back. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying you look like you're drunk. And <laughs> oh, man. Like, I've never met no, this kidding, man before really in my life. <laughs> he really does know. Wow. Well, I guess we're going pirate hunting. What do you guys think about that? I mean, after we get a couple drinks in us real quick. Well, we're not going pirate hunting now. The weather's too bad this evening. We're probably going to leave first thing in the morning. Just looking, it's just sunny sky. (laughs) (laughs) Well, in that case, it's definitely a few drinks. And you're buying? Woo-wee! Hell, I bought the first round, he says. Especially after you guys took down two of those big muscly boys. Hell, I'd have to shoot them twice. Well, thankfully for us, it's, uh, what's today? Monomononon's Day. It's a Monomononon's Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad we got you guys on the boat for the pirate hunting. Let's go down to the riot and get a drink. So, as we're right. walking to the riot, um, he peels off from the other soldiers and Captain Ajax and his soldiers, the rest of his soldiers leave. They kind of like threw some dirt and sawdust on the blood. <laughs> like a they just school bus on it. On it. <laughs> you guys see like a little old lady kind of walk out of the door and look at you as you pass by and she just goes down there and she grabs her knives and looks at you. I'm going to look at her and, and then wink. <laughs> She's going to blush a little and head back in the... Head back in there. Alright, so you guys are going to make your way down this way, right? Do, 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 do. Um, and you, as we're walking, I'm going yep. to kind of like... So, I totally didn't want to bring this up earlier, but we technically are pirates. So, I mean, if people ask, we're not pirates. What do you mean? Well, well, what do you how mean? do you mean? I'm not a pirate. Well, we're, we're privateers. Are we? So, we're are we are you? No. Hey, Jack. Uh, <laughs> if I am, you are. That's, that's, well, not, that's not how that works. We're all in the same gang. If you have a gang and one guy's a pirate, you don't just have one pirate. Yeah, in the but gang. I'm a fetchling. That doesn't make you guys fetchlings. Well, that's who you are. That's who you were born as. We all I'm became pirates. Not I'm, a pirate. an, I'm, a <laughs> I'm a paladin. So okay, I'm I want you to roll for uh, persuasion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, want, I want to see if you actually oh. persuade them to believe that they're pirates. Oh, he's failing at this point. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was, that was that, uh, well, uh, so what do I. I'm adding a bluff or what? Right, yeah, it's be, a bluff. Or be it, more. Oh, I guess. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What would you yeah. roll? It's a nineteen. All right. So the guys are kind of like, they kind of in the back of their minds are like, I mean, maybe we are pirates. We work for gold. We kill people, and then they're all like, shit, the shit, up like that. that. We're going to kill. Pirates. You don't have to believe me now. Just know at some point here in the next, maybe, maybe it might even be a year, you will all see that we're. We're just pirates. I feel like Buddy, they're not telling us better something. better be, not what? be planting a mental time really, bomb. Yeah, like, are, are you hiding something? What's going on? 
You okay? Tell us. I just feel like we've done a lot of pirate stuff already, and I don't want to... I don't want us to prejudge the people we're going to go fight in this rebellion. Was it the heat of battle? I mean, if anything, that would make us less likely to battle, because now we're batter- battling with brothers. Well, it... it's a civil war. That's that not point. how pirates work. No, but I mean, like... Generally. Are you having flashbacks right now? <laughs> I'm just saying. We've done a lot of pirate stuff. I don't want to throw around labels, but if these guys hate pirates... You just called us pirates. Exactly. I'm just saying we should, we should be I mean... less... Obvious about what we do and what we, you know, they I so would have just never saying, said I was a pirate. So we just need to say that you're not a pirate, right? That's we, what you're we, saying? We need to be less obvious about what the things we do are because the things we do are, are pirate things. I just like, oh, I just like pull an <laughs> eye patch out of my bag and, like, <laughs> and I put it over my cosmic eye. I'm like, is that better? <laughs> I mean, I can go buy a hat too, but just stop telling people the things we do. <laughs> Because I mean, about that time, uh, Admiral Theta happened. walks over and he's like, hey, are we going to sit around and talk all day? We're going to go get some drinks. All right. Yeah, he's just a little drunk. We're, 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 yeah. getting him, we're getting him straight before we go to the bar. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I like him. Let's go. All right. So you guys start walking down the street this way. As you make your way this way, <clears throat> you hear quite a bit of uh, hubba lubba lubba and kab- Kalu, as you approach the back side, they come there you go, yep. Yeah. Okay. As you approach the back side of the riot, which is this big building right here, you're going to approach the riot, and there are people outside. There are people hanging out the windows. Everybody is getting jump, drunk. There's a lot of music going on in there. There's a lot of singing, a lot of dancing. There's people kind of out in the street, like very drunk. And then there's some people that are like, you know, hanging in the benches in the front, like one guy's just kind of sitting there, like drinking an empty drink. He's so hammered, and uh, you guys approach and see all that. Is there anyone who stands out? One more perception check. How did this work out last time? Twelve. Twelve. Twenty. Okay, so you, as you guys roll up, you see kind of on the corner, just hanging out. You see Todd hanging there. That Todd? Fucking Todd. Todd? Who's Todd? Hell y'all! Oh, Todd. It's me, dudes! It's you, dudes! What's up? Dudes? Did you ever talk to your boss? My boss? Ah! What about him, dude? Is I don't doing like that already? guy. Is he doing okay? He's an asshole, man. What, he makes what was me his name work again? for my money. What was your boss's name again? I don't... Todd's in it. I'm Todd. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So I, got, I see what you did. You took like a big, long puff. You guys want some? I should have my own. Is that the giggle grass? <laughs> is, is, is that the Lord's loud? What is that? <laughs> the Lord's loud. <laughs> that kingdom cush? <laughs> Anymore? <laughs> Heavenly hashish? <laughs> so it's like, no, 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 dude. It's just flame root with a little bit of the mushroom sprinkles on top. You know what I'm saying? He's like, are you guys here for the party? We are the party. We are yeah. the party. Indeed. What? You how said, can you, you be the party if you're not in the party yet, dudes? Because that's how the, being the party works. You never yeah. arrive on time to your own party. It never starts until About that yet, time, right? Admiral Theta kind of like walks around and he's like, let's go inside. <laughs> and Tom's like, okay, dude, bye. <laughs> as, we're, as we're leaving, I'm like, <laughs> So you guys walk around the front, and about the time you walk around the front, you hear someone shout, Hey, Admiral Theta brought the heroes of Galland! And as the bar doors like open up, you just hear like, Oh, yeah! Fuck you! It's fucking awesome! Woo! Can cast... we buy you a drink? Woo-hoo! As we walk in the door, I'm going to cast Dancing Light, so we just have like floating lights around us. Essentially. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. A little bit of ABBA going on. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> as you do that, like the place just erupts. Like people are stuffing beers in your faces. They're like throwing food at you. <laughs> the beers. <laughs> the bartender remembers you, face. right? And waves you guys over. You all have drinks, you know, and you all come up with like drinks. The bartender, like, he's like, "There's my partners. I'm so. You guys did it. I thought you." Hey, we did it. We, we did, did it. Yeah. How many and people he... did you kill? I didn't kill anyone. Did you kill like a bug or anything? 
Uh, a couple rats? Oh, we'll count it, man. Yeah. Count it. <laughs> Run it up. So that's a quarter of the gold, right? Or a fifth of the gold? No, and then I get a quarter of a gold. What? Per, per, <laughs> per, <laughs> I mean, per rat. rat's really small. Per rat. Huh. So I got ten per rat then, right? Ten copper? No, no, no. A quarter, yeah. no, no, a quarter of a gold. Is I don't know what rat. we talked about. I was drunk. Yeah. yeah every Sunday. Here you go. Twenty gold. Holy fuck. And he takes it and he's like, ah! everybody around him like cheers and yells. The barmaid comes up and like gives googly eyes to old Toasty over there, or to old uh, Rondoff, just because, you know, Pretty she broken. saw him and he's beautiful and she can't help herself. No one can. So Admiral Theta comes up behind you guys. You guys can put yourself in the bar, by the way. Admiral <laughs> Theta comes up behind you guys. And kind of like he has he has one beer in, in one hand and he sees like the ones that people are kind of leaving you in front and he just goes like this. He goes, grabs another and just kind of sits there and he's like, so what do you guys uh, know about pirates? Not much. Nothing well, definitely not pirates. So. Yeah, well, that's a weird, weird thing to say. I know, right? <laughs> what do you know about pirates? Well, I mean, I've been battling them my whole career. <laughs> and do we strike you as pirates? What? <laughs> I'm like, wait, 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 wait. And I take that. <laughs> and I put it on, I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> the little one's funny. Right? Yeah. Battle within, that's all well, I'm saying. Okay. Sometimes he... you gotta think like the enemy. And I take it off on my fist. Okay. <laughs> well, I can tell you all this for certain now. I've been on the high seas fighting these pirates since I was like knee high to a grasshopper. And I'm telling you one thing these pirates are rough, and we are up against the worst of them. We're going up against Captain Corsair Darkwater. So I am going to roll a... Or I know, I'm not going to roll. I'm going to use my once a day lore master and I'm going to get a 20 on this knowledge check. And... Is this guy... Corsair what? Darkwater? Darkwater? Cor Captain Corsair Darkwater. Has Theta ever fucked with any pirate ships that I have been a part of? Do you fuck with the war? No. no. <laughs> My dudes. And then Corsair, and then what do I know about Corsair? Do you like that? Um, so you pretty much know him only by name, but everything you know, as soon as you heard the words Captain Corsair Darkwater, you immediately were like, oh shit, this is bad. This is the, he is the worst of the worst. He is the most ruthless, the most deadly pirate king, or pirate out there. I just remember that whenever I was on a boat and he was near, I had to go hide with the beer. And we made a little rhyme so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> because of the drinking, obviously. Yeah. Wait. He's like, what? I don't have a problem. So what is, <laughs> what is this Corsair Darkwater? Like, what's the name of his ship? What does it look like? I, I was hiding every time. Literally, like, it was oh. like, danger, go hide, you know, because they only had one bard, and, you know, they had plenty of dudes with swords. It's like, you know. Do you know where about was his territory? You know, when did you have to hide, you know? When you're around something? Water, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I turned the question to Theta this Admiral time. Admiral Theta hears that, and he's like, yep, that about do be right right there. <laughs> if you're on the problem. water, you're in his territory. He's crowned himself Pirate King. It seems he has a few more of the other pirate captains rallying to his side. There's only one or two small islands off the opposing coast. I think we might be able to get a little bit more information there uh, and rally with one of the Queen, Queen Ferriset's galleons. From there, we're supposed to attack the, the pirates from behind while the rest of the Queen, while the rest of Queen Ferriset's armada attacks them head on. Ah, the pincher maneuver. Yes. <laughs> right, so you, do you know what he looks like? Or like his ship now? I've never ran into him, but we've chased him. What's his jolly roger? More than I could ever say. He always vanishes in some storm or over the horizon, and we never pick him up. So, do you know his jolly roger? Yeah, it's just a gigantic skull with a snake moving in and out of the eyes. So, like, hmm, question... Um, if you don't know what he looks like, how are you going to find him? Well, the Queen's Armada is going to come out to, to to fight him, 
as it is, what we've heard is uh, Captain Corsair and all the other captains that he's rallied to his cause are headed towards Salbon Port uh, on the Opposian coast. And rumor has it they're trying to take that uh they're trying to take that territory for themselves it'd be a real bad day if they ever got in that city because they'd have more ammunition and stockpiles probably a lot of food to hold up for at least two or three years it's the main port of export a main port of export and import for the opposion kingdom and where, where is that what did you say salbon port how do you spell that s-a-l-b-o-n so we're going to be meeting him on the water instead of at the port? We're not going to meet him. We're going to meet up with Queen Ferriset's uh, largest galleon, uh-huh. her flagship and her armada. And we're going to wait until Captain Corsair goes by with all his ships to take Salbon Port. He'll meet Queen Ferriset's armada. They'll engage in battle and we'll slip up from behind and see if we can't cause some problems and maybe turn the tide but but a naval battle nonetheless we're not oh we're going full water boys and he just smiles real big and you see like some gross ass teeth in there I'm, I'm i don't swim I very well. lean over to the boys can we all swim say loud. can we all swim i can't swim very well i want to talk about it. i am proficient in it but i don't do it no no I, no <laughs> yeah i've never actually learned why don't you want to sh- I'm heavy. I got plate armor. I see. Yeah, I was on a ship, not in the water. But never mind. I didn't have to swim. I just walked. Two questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One about how tall were you when you were knee high on a grasshopper? Oh. <laughs> like at least three foot seven. Damn, that's a big ass grass. Um, <laughs> dire grasshopper. Also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also. Um, so then somebody on the Armada knows what he looks like. Like, I just, I, I, you know, I'm trying to wrap my mind I don't think anyone around. knows rightly what he looks like. We I, just know that he's out there. He'll well, probably declare that. himself. Like, I'm sure someone you? well known as him. To so inspire like, his crew, I guess. Damn it. You want to be like that? I'm, I'm cool something. Like he doesn't have like we a could... straw hat with like a red ribbon around it. Or... We should have a backup force. We should petition the queen to see if we could have a backup force on the beach in case in case they land. In case they break through the queen's armada. Better be too careful. Oh, that'd be over fifty ships. If that happens, we're all in deep shit. Yeah, I'm okay. Fair enough. All right. He's probably got mm, maybe twelve to twenty. Maybe more, but these are pirates, and every one of them is deadly, dangerous. The 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 opposing navy is not to be trifled with, but they haven't seen war in many years, and these pirates keep at them pretty good. These are going to be well trained men up against a fairly new navy. So the least we fight, the better. We should sneak up on the captain's ship, take him out, and that will break morale for all the rest. After that. It's essentially yeah, except every time you see him, he's got at least two or three small schooners that are kind of running behind him, running interference. Sometimes they even attack us head on, stop us, make us kill them, and then they leave. They just die. They don't care. How, what's the closest you've ever gotten to the captain's ship? Oh, shit. Probably, probably 20,000 meters. That's not close. I'm trying to... Is there, like, a place that we can, like, buy lower things so we can try and, like, sabotage our way in, you know what I mean? Sabotage? How are you going to sabotage your way into... You can't even swim. How are you going to get to the boat from... How are you going to get to their boat from our boat? I'm saying, like, we have, like, a different boat that looks like a pirate ship. And then we, like, go in... And we're like, hey guys, we're here to join the party. I mean, maybe. Well, we probably have to meet up with Queen Ferriset's galleon before we can consider that. That's fair. Maybe we can capture a pirate ship on the outskirts of the fleet heading in. Maybe. But, uh, boy, that's going to be dangerous. I will okay. say, boys, some of us in the group may be a little too intoxicated to be making too many plans. <laughs> maybe we start... Heading towards bed and make plans on the way towards meeting the queen tomorrow. But this party's just getting started. 
I've been partying since we woke up. I have not. <laughs> that is been... your missed opportunity, sir. No, this is the opportunity that I'm not missing. <laughs> well, let's talk strategy tomorrow when we're on the boat and we're setting sail towards the Opposian Islands, all right? You guys have fun. Enjoy yourself. Don't get too drunk now because we got a fight coming up soon and i'm gonna need you boys there and he just like chugs his whole beer slams it down smiles at the barkeep and just walks out i'm gonna call the barmaid over she comes over you plan on being sober when this bar closes tonight me i don't drink (laughs) then i will give you five gold if whenever this thing shuts down you take me to the captain theta's ship and drop me off so i don't miss the sail in the morning she has no idea what you're talking about. Wait, who? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you the bathroom while you figure that out. I whisper to him, I'm like, hey, you weren't supposed to do pirate things. I said we were not supposed to tell people about it. We're obviously going to keep doing pirate things. Yeah, like, but I, keep... I, think, I think I hid that pretty well. But I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> We don't have that choice anymore. We've already, we've already, <laughs> it. the pirate life is the life once you start doing it. Is this what gaslighting feels like? <laughs> <laughs> I what? think I've heard this term before blood in, blood out. <laughs> pirate in, pirate out. <laughs> first mean, in, okay. first out, you know? But yeah, I would say, I, I just feel like the more we talk about what we do, the more it seems like maybe people might think we're pirates or bandits. You know, there's a lot of boats around here, so probably pirates. So the bartender who has been keeping a very close eye on you because you are flirting with his daughter, right? Walks up behind (laughs) and kind of hears you guys talking about this, right? (laughs) And he kind of looks at you guys and he's like, you guys want to get in the fight? No. (laughs) I'm not really the fighting type. More of the... What kind of fight? Like fist? More of a love. Well, no, 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 no. I just hear that there's actually uh, some crazy things going down in the sewers. Fight club. I'll go with the guys. <laughs> Maybe we could go... Aren't you tired? And make some money? <laughs> or do you want to go to sleep? <laughs> I, mean, I, I was trying to, you know, just drink and party a little bit. How late is it? Is it like dark out? Oh, it's dark, yeah. For it's sure. probably like almost midnight, maybe. I was like, I yeah. kind of wanted to go read a book, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know... The tome on your side just kind of like... Really kind of like moves and squeals around a little. <laughs> no. I will say, if we do leave now, the paladin won't know that we left because he's in the back. <laughs> mm. I'm with that. That yeah. about... I could just tell him you guys left. But why would you do that? And also, where would we go? Okay, so listen, 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 listen. He like leans in a little closer and he's like kind of cleaning one of his like mugs and he's like, I didn't really want to tell you guys this, but I get a potion ale. And I know that's who y'all are going to get. But they just jacked my prices up. Did that they that I have to like pay more or some stupid king dark water or something and captain I, captain sorry yeah captain dark water oh. and i really don't oh, pay he's more. He's back, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey pal i'm gonna mute real quick
We'll drop a city we want to unmute. So the bartender leaned in and said, hey, do you want to make some money? What and then he's telling the team about how he actually buys some of the ale in the pub from a potion, from the potion ale makers, but he has to have pirates to smuggle it through because he was getting a big discount on it. But now they're actually telling him that he has to pay more money for uh, the opposing ale and they're holding it hostage in the sewers below uh, this area because, or below uh, Castle Gallon because they want money to give to King Darkwater. So now he's asking, do you guys want to make some money? You want to make some motherfucking money? I've got no idea what's going on. I just got back from the bathroom. I just told you. We're so selling we're gonna go pirates in, the, in a sewer. We're selling uh, cases. Oh, these sewer the pirates pirate. now. Uh, I'm down on one condition. The bard has to pay double for any of the ale that we get. That's your only condition that the... I mean, and we get paid. Wait... What? <laughs> He's confused. We're both confused. confused. So you Three want him to... You guys aren't getting this ale. You're going to give it to me. Yeah. I'm going to give you half of what they were going to charge me. Mm -hmm. Which was... Or, or half of the markup. Yeah, Where? but you think he's not going to want to drink some like when we get back? We're on the trip. We're oh, going to have some casualty casts. Very devious. I mean, this I ale stays in my ale house. Oh. I'm going to serve it to people. They're charging me an extra hundred gold. I'll give you fifty. Just go down there, knock some knots on their heads, and bring me back my ale. Seventy-five. And I'll let you drink for free. What? Okay, fifty and drink for free. That's fine. <laughs> you didn't hear the rest of the deal. <laughs> I'm impatient. So he gives you guys like a map that leads like out of the um, out of the riot tavern into a um into like an alleyway and is going to bring up uh the sewer area i know we're not leaving yet but i'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick oh no i'm gonna tell him i'm, I'm gonna run distraction i get up onto the actual bar raise my glass to everyone and tell everyone let's celebrate and show them why we call this the riot and then i'll drop like 20 gold okay. onto the bar. Okay. The drinks are on me tonight. Okay. Let's go, guys. Well, they're distracted. So everybody, like, everybody starts cheering and yelling for you. They're, like, super happy, right? And uh, and everyone's shouting, like, Heroes of Gallon! Heroes of Gallon! Heroes of Gallon! And they just all start <laughs> That's where we make most people. Hmm. So you guys are going to exit out. Oh, I have you on the wrong map. Big cities are crazy. They all look the same to me. You guys are going to exit That's out and place. rock, walk around the side <laughs> of the um, of the sewer until you find the little area that he uh, mentioned, and it's basically just like a gigantic met gigantic metal grate protecting the sewer. And uh, and you guys open it up and climb down into the sewer. No, it smells disgusting. I'm gonna let Twinkle go first. I cast dancing lights. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, shame. God, didn't yes. even see what it rolled. Okay, it goes off. It goes off. Yes. Okay, so some lights just kind of dance in front of you guys and slowly kind of like light up the area in front. Like push but you... them forward so that that goes deeper into the... Okay, yep. And it, and it goes in and then it kind of stops at this first little uh, tunnel like opening. And it just kind of hovers. Left. Yeah, it hovers at the intersection. Oh, let me show you, you guys where we're at. You know I can see that, right? I do too. We're right here. Oh. I, 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 can't. I see that right as well. It's dark oh, yeah. in here. I know. Oh, I thought you couldn't see in the dark. Oh, Who can't, can't see in the dark? I can't. Ah! I only have low light vision. Oh, oh this is for you. It lights. There's lights. Dancing lights. So it illuminates that. So it stops at the first, um, at the first intersection, and they kind of hover right there. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and 
Sure. It's the sewers where the pirates are at. Yep. Yep. Fight club. <laughs> so we're getting seventy-five gold. And and all we can all drink. we can drink. I like I time. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I didn't, was, didn't even need to be there. <laughs> Dude, who's gonna charge you like cloudy, cloudy. twice as loud for drinks? How about he's Cloudy. He just he, he just came in here to look at you. <laughs> dude, he literally he loves Blation, dude. Stop. <laughs> he just, he he, he, Cloudy literally runs under the table and won't listen until he makes eye contact with Blation and then cool. runs away. He's like, oh, he's still in here. Oh shit! Wow. I know he's in here now. My animal companion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna walk up there. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up there and, and be the first to kind of go ahead and scout this out and see if I can see anything. You don't really see anything. It just looks like a bunch of dead, gross leaves, some pretty nasty looking hair things, and maybe a few like mud piles. This is maybe. a this is a sewer, right? Yep. I'm gonna use knowledge dungeoneering to see if I can potentially know if this city has like a standard layout for their tunnels or whatever. Okay. Kind of get like a, oh, there's my dice. Get like a little bit of extra knowledge so we're not just, you know, because we technically don't know what's around the corner or whatever, you know. So I can actually, I can have the lights go around the corner because I have a range of up to 130 feet. Okay. Three okay. lights and they have to be within 10 feet of each other. Four, four lights and they have to be within 10 and I gotta, feet. Of each I'm actually, instead of it being four separate lights, I'm going to make it a humanoid figure of light. Okay. So it looks like there's like, somebody walking um and i got a 25 so i'm essentially seeing if there's like a standard layout for these sewers in gallon uh not really a standard layout but you just know that like the further you get into the sewer usually like the tighter of a space that it gets it kind of comes to a head before it like before it escapes to whatever area they put it to escape and there's generally like a large holding chamber kind of at the end where it holds like more fluid sometimes but you know, once a day they they drop all the fluids, right? Shit so goes I know, down here. I know you can make us larger. Can you make us smaller? Yeah. We might, depending on where this club is or where we have to go. I know this; these tunnels can sometimes get a little tight. So, just just just, uh, just a heads up. Other than that, I've never been down here in my life. <laughs> That was awful. I mean, do we have, like, general First direction? Standard. General direction? You guys just got a map from him that showed you the entrance to the sewer. <laughs> That's it? Like, nothing in the sewer? Can I, like, no. <laughs> figure out what's on top? Because they said it was under the castle. Or can I, like... It's just under... Castle, castle Gallon is, like, the name of the oh, city. And the, okay. thra the, thra right. the city that surrounds Castle Gallon. Hey, guys, yeah. we're under Castle Gallon. Holy shit. Okay. So... Oh, it's literally holy shit. You got it? Uh, you got it? <sighs> Alright, we should, okay, so he's you're up to here and you, he's already looked around that corner? Um, He's looked, looked around, around the corner right. that he's at. Yes. Yeah. That's nothing. Um, I'm gonna come up to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm following that. I'm just 15... Feedback. Um, okay. I'm going to summon a dog. Okay. And um, I'm gonna so I summon the dog. I'm just gonna, hey boy, um, I'll look around the corner. I'm gonna send the dog out and around the corner over here. Okay. And it just kind of goes around the corner, and you don't really hear anything. Well, boys, we can at least move up the corner. I'm gonna start to move up. I don't know if you guys want to join me. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not be. I'm gonna make it where I can't be seen from this hallway. But I'm definitely moving up. I'll join you. Are we not gonna check this way? Uh, I mean, hey, beast board. I thought this. Oh, I guess that's not like an, uh, a jump up or anything. I thought that was like something else. But I mean, I guess we could check that one first. Yeah, I sent the dog towards the end. Like, uh, I say, yeah, you, yeah. you guys want to check that? Yeah, you're more welcome. Dude. Although there's still light in there, so. You don't see anything up to the corner. Okay, I'll take a look then over here then. See if I see anything down there. 
Not a lot. A few rats kind of milling around, and it looks like maybe somebody's lunch, or was their lunch, or was way after their lunch. Nothing down here, but a whole bunch of disgusting stuff. All right, let's go away from the <laughs> disgusting stuff. You probably never will do that. Oh, um, I couldn't. Great willpower. It did. I know what I should do. I'm going to perceive and listen very closely for any sounds. Stop moving, stop moving, stay still. Twinkle, stop. <laughs> that didn't help. Yeah, We're didn't. making way <laughs> too much noise. Well, you, as soon as that happens, right, everything gets really, really quiet. Everyone kind of <laughs> looks at you, and you're just like kind of panic for a minute, and you're like, <laughs> there's nothing there. There's yeah, it's it like a 15, but yeah. False cool. alarm. False can, alarm. I, can I talk now? You know what? No. Just in case. <laughs> no, that's what I just went out. I'll cast dancing lights again because it went out. Okay. Um, it goes off. Well, do you guys want to just continue in? I'll I'll be leader here. You can see around what's this uh, around what is the corner? Around the corner. Let's see what's around the corner. He's having a stroke. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, stroke of G. <laughs> do a heal check. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I mean. All right, well. Yeah. See what's down this hall. Uh, so you round the corner, and as you round the corner, you see, like, maybe a shadow at the kind of end that cuts over, but you're not really sure. Throw a rock at it. No, wait, 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 wait. I have it look like the humanoid figure of light is, like, sprinting. As, down as, soon as, as soon as the light gets, like, big and kind of starts moving towards it, all shadows kind of disappear, and you can't really see anything. There's some creepy stuff down here, and I don't think uh, we're alone. I think the uh, who we're looking for is probably down this hall, guys. Hmm. Okay. So, real quick, just because I missed this whole thing, I went to the bathroom and came back, and you guys were gone, but they told me where to find you. <laughs> um, what was the deal? Here. Ah, uh, is, is there like the underground pirate? No, no, that's what we were talking about? about when the paladin went to oh, the bathroom. Okay, okay, I didn't know if we were still keeping Same thing, except him. like we actually made the deal. Okay, so we're yeah. here to take that guy's ale, his ale that he gets from these guys. Maybe we just take this pirate ship or something? I mean, we're here to <laughs> just explore. Who knows what's down here? Gotcha. And we're most definitely not pirates. <laughs> or are we? I guess it depends on who's down here. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm going to... I guess my real question is, are we sneaking? I think it's too late for that. Hello? I'm gonna, no. uh, I'm gonna... It just echoes no. down through there, right? And you hear nothing but maybe a few rats squeal. <laughs> do we want to just proceed I'm just going to yeah let's just walk up and yeah, I'll let's all go hold, hold up before before we we walk too terribly far um should I send the dog further we should the, these people obviously don't want us to be in here right so they might have set up a trap or two. <laughs> the dog's chilling with me right now but um why would they set up a trap if they're expecting him to come get it though would they be expecting warriors, or I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna maybe send the dog around this corner. Okay. I mean, they've yeah. done this deal before. I'm gonna. Uh, maybe. I, I didn't and maybe know more people because they raised the price. The dog rounds maybe, the corner and you don't hear anything for a second, oh, and then all of a sudden you hear a bark and a growl. Oh. So, I'm gonna. I'm like, I was walking up because I was gonna just kind of check on the dog, and then I'm gonna turn to you guys and be like. So I go with them. Yeah, I'm still just 15 feet back from everybody. You're gonna be back here still. Not that far, <laughs> but like I'll be at the corner as you guys are rounding the other corner. Okay, okay. Um, I don't do well in small situations. Well, and then, uh, real quick, I'm just gonna. Can you just hand me like a black token or where's? Uh, I don't know. Oh, they're right here. My bad. Over here, asking me for stuff. For the yeah. dog. Yeah. Okay. Um, roof. And so, dog boy's like right here, but he's barking and growling. Roof. Yeah. Um, he's barking. Good boy's got something to be going on. <laughs> I'll go check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I can check it out with you because I can. 
You hear a little bit more barking and a little bit more growling. You guys round the corner and you see the dog barking and growling at what seems to be a three or four pound rat. Just a big rat. What is it? It's a rat. Sick him. I'm going to get the dog to attack the rat. The dog just runs up there and grabs the rat, kind of shakes it and crunch. Perfect. Okay. And the rat just and dies. Oh. Twinkle, yeah. you just look down this hall and let us know if anything's coming. We're going to just make sure there's nothing over here that that rat was guarding. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to have perception for this rat. little area. That is, yeah, I got a two. So You just see like a, like a skeleton of what looks to be like another rat that it was eating. Well, I'd say it wasn't guarding anything. I think we can leave. Yeah, well, well come on, good boy. I'm going to send good boy, uh, I'm going to come back over here, I guess. I'm going to send good boy down here. And, what kind uh, of dog is this? Um, Echo, pretty much. Oh, okay. I would say, hunting dog. So she would do like the point growl kind of deal, I guess. So as you send it down the hallway, a trap... A tripwire catches the dog's foot, and this giant ballista bolt just impales the dog oh, up against yeah. the wall. I told you. <laughs> it wasn't a good boy. And he's just like, the best boy. and dies. <laughs> and then just kind of disintegrates into the magic yeah, just, he made it out of. Um, So I'd like to imagine that when my magic, like my physical items that I conjure, mm -hmm. when they dissipate, they just magical notes, essentially. Okay. And like, wah, you know. wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I like look. I look at you, and I'm like, because I know there are... how this magic works. <laughs> I'm like, wraps down this hall. Did you just sacrifice the dog? I saved us from traps. You, you so, know, I can look I for like, traps. Might be, might be I really actually well. said we should have looked for traps. And look what happened. I looked Nobody for... listened. <laughs> That's well, what not, happened. I looked for traps. I mean, we all have different ways of looking. That's, that's that's true, but that was kind of that was a little fucked up. That was um, a cruel way. I'll I'll go up to where. <laughs> Good boy, you got old yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? I, I get up, above board when you summon an animal, you just summon it from somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool animal. Yeah, like it's, I'm not just like making a fake animal. Like, okay, <laughs> it actually died. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, back like to where someone's dog. Before. I could have just taken someone's dog. They could have been like out in the field hunting, and they're like, dog ran around a corner, and they're like, where'd he go? Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's just well, I'm glad my character doesn't realize how this works. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <all I have. laughs> I'm gonna go to that I trap and okay. like carefully move forward, looking for traps. Okay, where are you moving? <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Some like where was the track? It was about a like little, the, yeah, a little further, the, yep, right uh, there, around, like yep. around, like that. right there. Yep. Uh -huh. So old yellow, <laughs> yeah, right mm -hmm. was not no more. Yeah, I mean, so I'm going to, I mean, look at the design of the trap. Okay, it was just like a. So it's it's pretty much a basic trip wire. The wire is about four inches above the ground. When it released, it released like a trigger on a on a large like ballista style crossbow and just sent one giant ballista spear. Like so, is there like a hole? hole? There's Where? a hole in the wall. Yeah, you can see it. Where the boys can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna keep my eye out for any more holes. Okay, roll, <laughs> roll, roll perception. Or <laughs> roll a hole book check. <laughs> May 17, so that's like a 27. So you see like three or four holes down through there. You can kind of see like three or four holes staggered at different heights that look like there's maybe four or five different like traps ahead of you or holes at least. Like holes going this way or holes going like? They're the holes that like, that look like what the ballista came out okay. of. Like a circular hole where the spear came out through the, through the wall. Uh, I'm going to check in front of those holes about the same distance of the tripwire to the previous. Perception check. Uh, that is a 15. Hey, magic. Magic boy. 15 plus 8. 23. Okay, so the, you, you walk up to the first one, and when you get about six inches from where the hole kind of is, you see just peering out there just like a, 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 a tiny little, like, really small just silver sheen goes... Ooh. Disable device. 
12. What? Are we... Are yeah, we... I've got them on the big map just for a minute, just so they can see where you guys are at on the... I just... I was saying, I, had, I didn't... I haven't looked up there in a little bit, so I didn't know how long <laughs> they'd been up there. Oh, no, like this it went. I can't... I can't. <laughs> okay, so what? What'd you roll? 12. A 12? So you, like, reach up and you kind of grab it and you, like, run your hand across it. <laughs> and it just slings. Uh, roll me a reflex. Save. Okay, so when you're just like looking it down, you trigger the trap, and out comes the ballista spear, just like flying at the wall, and you move your hand just in time, and just crushes right into the wall, just like it did to the. Dog. How's it going? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> That's good. So before you look for more traps, do you sense any magic, and do you sense any evil? Um. Yeah, I'll go ahead and start. I mean, it doesn't have to be evil to be a pirate, right? Because well, I guess, well, I guess, we, no, well, I guess we don't really need the evil. But I'm just let's say as far no, as magic. Still evil. No, no, I, can, I understand cool. that. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I cast uh, detect magic to see if there's whatever's around. There's no magic. Okay, just in case. So no, that's I, fine. And then, like, my eyes just continue glowing for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I, I can detect evil, but it's not gonna. It's not yeah, gonna be yeah, very yeah. far. I say, yeah, I would say at this point, I would say that the magic. As soon as I asked, as I, I, I like looked at you guys, and I was like, "Hey, can you see if there's any magic or any evil?" And I was like, "Actually, these guys are probably evil. We don't. We know they're evil." <laughs> so I go. Are we like clean? Like, are we dirty? Like... Your boots are pretty gross. There's no standing water. It's like small puddles here and there and just disgusting here and feces and maybe not feces. Try to stay pretty clean. I'm wearing mostly white. <laughs> <laughs> just constantly you're doing um, <laughs> Mending. So yeah. where's the next hole? Uh, it's probably like maybe 12 inches ahead of you. Yeah. So you'd have to creep up. So like it would be like here-ish? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take. I heard that. <laughs> I'm gonna take a rope. Okay. From my bag of holding. Yep. How far? I mean, to where I believe the tripwire is. So, like, however far it's been so far. So, like, twelve. You know, it's twelve. Uh, one foot in front of you. One foot. I'm yeah. gonna take a five foot step back and then throw it like. Right over it. Okay, so you throw the the rope over it and foom, triggers and another ballista hits the side. Guys, I found another one. You're doing good. Wait, this so... is a lot of noise. <laughs> I could throw a dolphin down the hall. <laughs> I, I, don't think I, was, I don't think I was ever ready to throw that. Like, <laughs> this, Honestly, I'm curious at this point. I did, I, as We've been with Twinkle for almost half a year at this point and you're surprised to hear that I mean, yeah, that's I mean, a very surprising statement <laughs> i learned recently that i can conjure creatures yeah i and... started drinking again <laughs> <laughs> this is when we caught the captain and i'm so oh, yes fired yes <laughs> are you going to sacrifice it like you did good boy <laughs> what do you mean sacrifice the fake right yeah, totally. Sacrifice my use of the magic. I can only use the magic. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> well, this <laughs> oh, shit. I need to keep his innocence. 16 plus 12. What's your, what's your, uh, It'd be so wisdom? Uh, my wisdom is, uh, modifier is one. <laughs> what, what's well, your, what, no, what's my, the score? My, my intelligence, uh, the score? Yeah. Uh, wisdom's 12, intelligence 14. What'd you roll? 25. What'd you roll? A 15 plus 9, so 24. Okay, <laughs> okay. so you guys both say that, and he literally, without a step, is just like, all right. Like, all right. just that's... absolutely, like, you, you, you're, you're, he's like, what do you mean they like... come from, that, like, are they real? And you guys are like, no. <laughs> you do, like, all this stuff. <laughs> and, and he's just kind of sitting there listening to, and he's like, at the very okay, end, he makes draw yeah, the conclusion, okay. and then we're like, no, that's not. <laughs> with, that, with all that being said, I'm gonna let I'm gonna take a back seat. I'll let you. 
<laughs> do no, do. Holy shit. I I want to see the imaginary dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Before I do that, I like. <laughs> can I see? Like, what can Look I see it. down that way? Oh, good one. Check off. Um, real quick, I'm gonna go make sure I'm not burning, burning you. Yeah, go, go, go. Mm-hmm. We'll take just a short break, chat. Also, we'll pull you up to the cave here. What is the stream made out of? Is it or like the wire? Is it string or metal? We know that. It's oh, cool. it's it's a shiny metal. Yeah, like gotcha. very uh-huh. shiny uh-huh. thin metal. Gotcha, gotcha. I was gonna see if we could burn. It's trip wire. Yeah, 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 just really thin. If you guys have other solutions, of really, the really dolphin, thin we, pancakes. Can we like take it? Uh, like, is it still there? Like, no. Just, like, when it fl- it's like and it sucks in as the other thing because it's on. It's like tight, tight. Yeah. Well, well, like a roll kind of thing. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Mm, or more hot, like a spring tiny. loaded thing. So it's tight on there, and as soon as it pops, like all of it disappears into that wall. Mm, it's fucking tight. <laughs> okay, Todd. <laughs> I mean, he did take a hit earlier. He did. Yeah. 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 Oh, so you, I mean, you ever made a wizard that isn't into psychedelics? Come on now. Everyone I've met. Absolutely. You gotta expand. I don't know. Harry seemed like a pretty straight cut. Though. No shot. He definitely yeah. did some. I mean, maybe Daniel Radcliffe did. Well, I mean, I, no, Harry definitely did something. Captain Bro. of the Quidditch team. Gillyweed? Come on oh, now. Gillyweed. Come on. You know, Hufflepuff had that on. Yeah. Lolly Pews <laughs> Potion? Yeah. This man did all of the drugs. Probably. It's not legal. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not. Just butter expand beer? their horizons. <laughs> butter beer? Yeah, buttering my ass. <laughs> How's everyone enjoying this so far? How's it looking? Do you like the bass boosted camera we have? Because I'm like, yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like it looks really good. I just still think we need a little more light because, like, Billy's got good light over there, and I think I have good light, but yeah, I like think the back area. row. Yeah. yeah, I'm still gonna order some. Uh, some more lights like that, but then I can change them so that way if you guys are like in a fire cave, I can turn it fucking red, you know. Yep. Just a little bit, a little extra juice, juice, you know. Yeah, I hear can you. you. Can you not change these ones? I don't what you're talking think about? you can, or you could have, and we lost the remote. There, there's it looks like there's a box. Oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah, there's so many, dude. It yeah. looks like there's a box where it could. I think that's the the power. brightness, okay. the power and the brightness, because you can turn them up and down. But yeah, like, because I think Billy looks really good over there, and then you have to shut up. Never, oh, dude, here's never not heard that. <laughs> never not heard that. Never, never not had, had it. <laughs> but what do you guys think about the angle, seeing the table with, like, the people on it, and then you get, like, the cam off and on? The angle of the dangle? Yeah, dude, the angle of the dangle. Straight down. Face down, ass up. That's the way I like to D&D. That's right. <laughs> Is there other? Is there another way? Ass up, face down. <laughs> no, that's just the same thing. But in reverse. I feel like it would be really smart Ass for someone to actually make a D and D like rule book and like book in the Harry Potter universe. I feel like that would be. Pretty I'm pretty cool. sure that would oh, yeah. oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's like homebrews. Because there's a well, because there's an Avatar one. Star Wars is like an example of that. They have like yeah, a, I guess they turn. They yeah. I want to do the Avatar one. They have like a Dragon Ball. Is it Last one? Airbender or? Okay, I didn't have a James sick. Cameron. That would be them. interesting. That would kind of be weird. Yeah. I heard they signed on for like three more. Yeah, movies? it's like three more or something. The last one was good. I it thought was. it had a better storyline than the first one. I think it was yeah. the same story as the first one, different setting, but I thought it was they like because they didn't. I don't feel like they really changed it. They changed it enough that I was like, okay, this makes a lot of sense. But then like they went from like unobtainium being like hard to obtain and like being and then they're like now yeah, it's like brain awful. fluid which was if you guys ever seen deep blue sea yeah yeah literally that but maybe yeah, but they were ejecting <laughs> no no because they were sharks. drawing out of the out of the shark's brain they were drawing it out of the the compound out of their brain and putting it onto neurons in the science thing they were injecting them to make them bigger yeah oh, but then yeah, they yeah. were then they like drew I out the missed this part of that oh part. dude no no that was it's the... deep blue sea oh, oh okay yeah. i was like you should watch it it's actually not a bad shark movie it's it it pretty good attack on it, i'm sure if we watched it now <laughs> the cgi is awful but <laughs> that was one of the right. first movies i ever watched i was like dude i like thomas jane like yeah. this dude's good okay so is that delivery 
this digital guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, thick piece. Stop it. We are not sponsored by them. Pay us money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Pay us. laughs> a lot. We said it. 30 people heard it, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, as you guys say that, Ronda steps up, right? And Kyren steps back. You kind of get as close to the... You're about two or three feet away. Oh, yeah. Did we just add on the dolphins? I mean... Oh, you're doing it. No, no, no. Yeah. He, he already back backed up and like, he here. walked up behind you. You're the next one in order. Like, I mean, oh, you don't have to necessarily do anything, but you are in I the lead. Mean, I like You've you now got my expectations up to see these phantom the dolphins. Oh, no, the imaginary <laughs> dolphins. <talk. laughs> Um, I'm gonna see right before he does that if I can just do a like slight breeze. So it's like a breeze that goes okay, like down the hall just to see if that'll do anything. Sure. Before we sacrifice the dolphin. No, 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 imaginary dolphin. It goes off, but it's not like a super powerful breeze. It's like so some leaves kind of like... rustle on the side. The ones that aren't stuck to the to the grotesque. Uh, yeah, it's like a light door. wind. Yeah, a few <laughs> leaves kind of like rustle down the hallway. And and you see like uh, Ron Doth's like blonde hair kind of. Oh God, he's hot! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are giving me a real cinematic experience. He turned around. He's... Thank you, Twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what I was doing it for. Aesthetics. <laughs> I'm gonna with the breeze. <laughs> you're doing like yoga that's all i really have like <laughs> what else do you got i asked that i said as i walked out do you, if you guys have any other plans for the, go ahead. i mean you saw my plan like you brought it up yeah it's, you're you're you already made the motion tell us what you do trusty so or ron Dodd, excuse me oh, what i want it so I'm assuming you said different heights but mostly like normal like yeah they're all like, like two to four feet off the ground so, yeah, so the way I'm going to have it is the dolphin, like, as, like, the wind's blowing, my hair's blowing, my, like, shirt's flapping, I, like, my eyes are not almost, they're almost looking in the same direction, because it's a little late in the night we've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Some a little more than others, but... <laughs> and I'm going to just, like, do the motion, like this, mm -hmm. and a dolphin just kind of, like, forms... And it is going to be at this angle. Okay. It's going to slide down the hallway and then just, you know, whatever happens. All of the traps start going off as it slides down. And these ballistas at different angles just start like piercing and slamming the dolphin up against the wall. Right before it gets to the to the last hole that you guys thought you see, it hits the last one, and it's about a four foot high one, and the ballista just goes straight through the dolphin's head and kind of pins the dolphin to the other side of the wall, and it really didn't even make a lot of noise. It was like, eh, and just got crushed by oh, the I, light. I dropped. I'm like, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Why are you so sad? That was pretty cool for an yeah. imaginary dolphin. But what if someone killed your imaginary friend? I think he's sad because what if someone heard that? You're That's totally... <laughs> just not making any noise in the back. Just... I love how Twinkle's affected by this. The most savage of us all. The one has got blood and shit all over his face half the time. <laughs> and he's like trying to judge me for slinging a dolphin down a hallway. <laughs> An imaginary, an imaginary one of that. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's implied. Yeah. <laughs> I can hit you, but I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm impressed with like how chaotic all of this is, but I'm just like, surely there was a better way. When we met in that tavern, you knew what we signed you up for. I told so, you. as you guys walk up, you kind of make your way up to where the dolphin. It's kind of like crushed up against the wall. You're right past Fido. Um, and you kind of look to the left and it looks like it's just a really barred up wall with like some padlocks on it. Um, like on some of the gates. You'll have a pizza. <laughs> Toasty's just on the pizza up in the air. We don't have a fucking pizza cutter in this goddamn house. He's cooking it. He's sawing it like a pizza wood. We don't have to with a steak knife. <laughs> we don't have a fucking pizza cutter. You gotta do what Dude, you gotta we do. We do have a pizza cutter in no, our somewhere. Don't. Yes, Me we do. Your dad just look for it. So, Maddie always knows where it's at. She always finds it. Dude, she's hiding. 
Anyway, do you guys see it? Like padlocks, right? Like bunch of padlocks on these walls. And you can you can kind of see a little bit from the, the dancing lights. You see in the back and you see like some crawl space and it looks like it probably goes towards where the traps were. Mm. You yeah. seem well suited for a crawl space. Wait, can I look into it because I have dark space. vision? Yeah. I don't know how to take that. Do I, is it just an opening? It's an opening and then it goes to the left, right? And it's like a crawl space. Small crawl space, like maybe a foot by foot. Oh, that's... Like, do I really even need to go in there? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's necessary. You like, there were padlocks. Get under the house. Padlocks, padlocks, like on all the little, the little gates Set that are like the there. Chest. Metal gates with like wood <laughs> bar, uh, wooden or wooden like fencing, kind of like underneath it, almost. You know, is it pickable? No, doesn't look like it. I can't pick locks anyway. So. Okay. Um, <laughs> Put that thing I was like, I can freeze it and then we can like hit it. But is there a point to going in there? It's too late. <laughs> He's gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Like anyway. it's chaotic. The chaotic nature of this so far. Yeah. So I can. So I use like a ray of frost to just freeze the padlock. Okay. Um. It just kind of like starts glowing blue almost, and then starts getting frosty, and it crumples like right on there. And as it crumples, it just kind of like opens. We're it. Like, I, I can't go in first because they could have trapped the traps. I can only imagine so many dolphins per day. <laughs> so. That's true. You got a limited <laughs> imagination? I, yeah, t- yeah, let's chalk it up to that. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean... Don't want to sing the same. That song. imagination is like vivid, though. That was the most real looking dolphin I've ever seen. It wasn't a bad. It wasn't a bad. Imagination. It looked good. It looked good. All right, so I need you to roll a deception check. It did look good. <laughs> yeah, but you have to roll a deception check because you're the only one who had, now you're getting into this trying to convince him. Uh-oh. Said bluff or diplomacy. Bluff. Yeah. Bluff. Uh, <laughs> thirteen. Okay, so you say that, like, that was the best imaginary dolphin ever, but he kind of hints maybe a tiny bit of sarcasm or, like, hesitancy, but he doesn't really quite get it. He's like, I'm always kind of skeptical of you, so yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna be like, you're being weird again. Yeah, really you know, empathize the kind of imaginary. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, imaginary. Hey, is there any dolphin. traps in there? Uh... You gotta stick your head in and you look down the whole thing and all you see is like a little bit of tripwire bundled up down through there, you know? Oh, so like it's not like set? It's just kind of... It's, well, they're all released because... Oh, because... It's the way back. Okay. I was like, you you want to get that? You want to get that? You might have some use for tripwire. I don't. Because you're cute and I love you. Thank you. We got some stuff, boys and so girls. All thank you, Squishy. Can I salvage the tripwire? Yeah. yeah, you can salvage the tripwire, uh, but you have to. So you have you to uh, send him something. down to get it. Oh, is the is the opening for the gate too much? The opening for the gate, you can kind of stick your head in, but the the spoons, the little thing goes down. You know, it's it's where they keep the traps, and it's really really small down oh, there. Okay, uh, yeah, I would get the tripwire, but um, too big. Here you go, Blazin. Oh, where did my thing go? Did they only give us one? Your what thing? Damn, I didn't get my didn't get my Reese's peanut butter one. No, 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 I don't want. No, that's it. I mean, it's the same thing, right? No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. No, I got the I got the blizzard, the concrete Reese's peanut butter. Is this? Which one's chocolate? Yeah, yeah that one's chocolate, chocolate too. brownie yeah. one. Yeah. No, it's okay. Go on. I got food. I'm good. Maybe I can start on this side and you start on the other side and we just meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works. It could be if you open your mind to it. <laughs> Maybe it does. Mm-hmm. So you're the DM. You have the biggest um, imagination of all of us. So you just can't fit down that small hole. Uh, where they crawl down and get the traps set. Okay. I mean, I'll just chop that one up as a loss. Let's continue. I use my mage hand to, like, go in and grab the... And just bring it back. Okay. Like, oh, here we go. 
Wrong pocket. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, tripwire. No bite for you. Yeah, sorry. Well, all right, let's continue. There's no way yep. there's going to be more tripwire, right? Um, Probably. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Fair enough. Where there's holes, there's tripwire. I'm not specifically talented in finding these tripwires. Would you like to go first? Sure. <laughs> Can I look down that hallway and see if there's any more? How are you going to look down the hallway? With my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> So as you do that, a stone platform under you like drops a little bit, and I need you to do a reflex save. Uh, nineteen. So as soon as you step on the stone, it lowers with you on it, sinking on it, and a volley of arrows come right at you. And right as they right as they're about to hit you, you dodge right out of the way and roll back, back towards down. the other guys. No, that shit's scary. That's why we put you in the front though, because I couldn't have been able to do that. I'm, I'm I mean, ready. I died. Maybe. Were they above you? What if our strong friend here? I don't know. I don't see where they came from. You could just shield. <laughs> you could just like use his shield, protect him. Seems like a lot of unnecessary damage over the whole. Just, did the did the flooring reset? It stayed down. How far down? You're like it was up, raised, just like maybe an inch. Now it's like two inches down, below the floor. It's enough. Keep telling yourself that, bud. It will. Sounds like a really big change. <laughs> I mean, can I peek back around the corner? Mm-hmm. You peek back around the corner, at the far end, you see like 12 or 13 holes in there, but you can't see anything else in the wall. I step on the lowered space again, just to make sure, being cautious of if anything Nothing happens. Okay. I mean, I think, I think we're good. Autobots, roll out. Okay. That's, well, yeah, that's what I was saying. He should, just in case, he should walk around the corner first with the shield up, you know. I just won't be able to see the tripwires. I think there's going to be multiple tripwires for the existence at the end of this hall. You said there's basically just like a bunch yep. of. You think they're going to going to have multiple loads in it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Maybe. I try. I try. I'm like stepping on the spot where it went down. I'm like I think it's done. At least it's done. All right. Well, I'll go. Why not? And I'll hold on to his pocket, metaphor. Which one? All right, <laughs> so you guys all round the corner. And as you guys round the corner, you move a little up. The plate, when he steps on it, kind of like oddly settles a little bit. He's like a little heavier than all of you guys, but still nothing happens. I didn't know I had that ability. Seduce the tripwire. Huh? <laughs> I just wait around the corner. I'm like, I'll come over in a second. I'm going to continue down the hall. You have this, my friend. Until I can get to the end. Mm. What do I see down the next one? I'm in his pocket. You're in his pocket? So, um... Mm. You walk around the corner. As you walk around the corner, his lights kind of fade down. You see like a shadow again. Maybe you're not really sure. Very fleeting. It passes by and nothing else. What do you see? I keep seeing these shadows dance around. But... Do I see it too? If I'm behind him? Okay. I keep seeing these shadows dance around, but I, I, I can't make anything out of it. I feel like these are the shadows we're looking for. Whatever it is, they know we're here already for sure. Absolutely. Definitely. Probably. Should we continue? Probably. I mean, I'm. we're already this far. <clears throat> Might as well. I'm going to stay probably 
I'm just whatever the distance I am right now, I'm gonna stay that far behind them as they continue up. Okay. So you guys you guys round the corner. When you round the corner, you kind of see like a little stash. Maybe kind of looks more like a bunch of um bags kind of thrown on the ground. Some of them have, like, clean clothes. Some of them have, like, some food or rations, like, in them. Uh, one of them has, like, maybe some fishing fishing line, kind of, like, spooled up, a really big spool of fishing line. Hmm. Oop. Opa. What? You, what do so, you think about that? You guys see... So, is it... Oh, you guys see it up there? You said it's in front of them? Yep. Up against the, that wall. It looks like a bunch of personal effects from people, clothes, or stuff, that kind of stuff. And things, and fishing equipment. Who's the sneakiest here? Is that you? You seem pretty sneaky. Oh, I said the box is a still fat person. Actually, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it helps. Um, there was no wrong answer. Um, maybe uh, peeking that. Yeah, do a little stealth peek in the hallway. Sounds great. That will do, dog. Mm -hmm. Uh, 20. All right, so move up there. So, Tyron moves up there, right? Puts his guy, peeks around the corner. Look around the corner. You don't see anything other than a gigantic bunch of barrels. Like, that's it. Nothing but barrels. And that's, like, here? That, yep, right over there. Mm. So the book bag in front of them and barrels over here. So there's, like, a bunch of stuff right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it safe? Shh. I don't know. Let me check this other side. Are we looking the other way? Don't see anything. Huh. I mean, I don't I don't see anything. But that doesn't mean nothing's there. Take that as you will. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the whole pirate thing all over again. Look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So since he said, I'm, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna sneak on up here with him. You know? Same, yeah. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna perception and rifle through these belongings, looking for, um, jewelry, uh, pretty much anything of value. Um, when he does this, I take steps back and I tell him that I haven't checked the actual stuff to see if it's checked. I rolled okay. a one. <laughs> It's a trap now. <laughs> so, you start like rifling through the belongings. You mostly see just like a bunch of clothes, nothing familiar. You see some rations, you see some food, you see some shoes, some socks. There's like maybe a few uh, books in one of them. You get to the oh one God. with the fishing line, right? And it's a pretty big spool of fishing line on a wooden spool. And you start kind of rifling through it. And about that time you start rifling through it, your hands dive into a pouch of hooks. Oh. Your hands dive into a pouch of hooks, right? And you kind of shout out in pain because now you have like five or six hooks jamming in there. When that happens... My hands. <laughs> when that happens, a, pi a pirate emerges from this corner and sees you with your hand in <laughs> his jar, <laughs> screaming and he's zipping up his pants right and he goes uh who the hell are you guys uh i don't know but you should get your prostate checked out because we didn't hear anything or well, european but anyways uh <laughs> the question is who are you yeah we were sitting here by the boss to make sure everybody's working we're getting this shipment out on time the boss. I'm trying to do these pirate things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's your boss? Oh, God. Cat. <laughs> no. 
He said, well, I'm trying to be my own boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually freelance <laughs> these days. Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur, if you <laughs> Captain. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the his best. name is yeah. Captain he kind of reaches for he kind of reaches for his sword or at least you think he is and he pulls out a bell Canassus <laughs> what'd you roll huh what'd you roll a deception or bluff, bluff. 17 so he kind of stops for a second and he looks at you I'm gonna like I'm gonna actively like hiccup to make it look like I've been drinking. Even though... I don't know if Captain Canassus. You hear a whisper only in your in your ear saying, It's Captain Corsair Darkwater. Oh <laughs> sorry. I mean I I I thought ass kiss halfway through. I <laughs> uh Corsair Darkwater. <laughs> He starts ringing the bell, and you guys hear a commotion. <laughs> Just start dancing with the bell. <laughs> and then four guys round the corner out of here. I was too late. I failed my first magic spell. I can tell you before. Roll for initiative. No. Oh, also, if anyone wants to reach these peanut butter egg, I know oh, we have. You don't have to kill me twice. <laughs> Oh shit! That sounds fucking I know, delicious. Right? I know. I, 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 I just thought about it. I was like, "Oh, pull this out." Don't do the dreamy, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you showed that guy. <laughs> Thank you. Before this fight, remember those legs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so would you guys roll? Toast? Or 21. 21. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> 22. 13. 8. <laughs> Not so, Rondoth first. The 22. No, no, no. No, you roll 22. Okay. Sorry. We'll get this initiative. He said no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. All right, so 21, 22 for Kyron. Mm. Arturis, you're 13? Yeah. Am I still stealth? No. No? You're around a corner, so it doesn't... I don't... No, because you peeked. Yeah. You peeked twice. I'd say you come back. How long does your stealth last? I mean, it lasts until, like, it ba doesn't. Yeah, basically, he, like, goes into stealth. He peeked in high school and college. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I mean, it's okay if it's not. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. They also can't see you or Twinkle or Arthur. They only see him. And I'm dancing. And I'm dancing to the bell that he's ringing, and I don't. <laughs> okay. Um. Dude, I had the journal one time, and it was the saltiest fucking thing I've ever had. It was awful one time. Kyron, one time. you go first. <laughs> Where did say what? Needs the wrong keys. Um, I heard a bell from that way, and then I heard footsteps from that way. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna post up back to this wall. Okay. okay. So I can see what's going on there. Okay. But have like the jump knowledge that there's a person present over there. Okay. And then I'm like waiting with sword drawn. Ronda. So. Uh, Excuse me. Um, I'm going to use. He's gonna summon another dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be careful with my dolphin. <laughs> yeah, they're dangerous. You're gonna go really hard with this guy around. 
dude. Just wait till I get summoned. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you know. <laughs> um. So, I am going to try to. I'm gonna cast Cure Light Wound, or well, so did that. The hooks didn't do any damage. I just have a hooks in my hand, right? Or do they do damage? One damage <laughs> for all of them, but they are stuck in your hand. Okay. Hands. Yeah, yeah. Fishing hooks? It's yeah, fishing hooks. Captain Hook. <laughs> <laughs> so, as as you guys are, like, kind of, you know, moving around starting, the one guy yells across, These blokes say they're with Captain Dr- Uh... <laughs> Santa, get him! <laughs> <laughs> These folks say they're with Captain Darkwater. What a fucking joke! Let's slice their fucking throats and take all their shit. And the other guys on the other side, are like, <laughs> okay, that sounds great. Um, <laughs> I go, <"Oops." laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I got suddenly drunk with hooks in his hands, we're like, ah, um. <laughs> Right, here, take those away from me. Okay. <laughs> I had three. I'm like, okay, that's enough. Dude, I'll be on chat. I'll be on stream over there sometimes. I just have to like throw the bag. I'm like, nope, I'll keep eating them all night. Um, Ooh, I, I could have one more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, those. Um, yeah. I'm going to cast Cure Light Wounds to push the hooks out of my hands. Okay. And then I am going to... Since they haven't seen them... I'm going to say, nice seeing you all. Sorry. I don't know who that is, actually. And then I'm going to run away. Okay. And then as I run away, I'm just going to, like, you got this voice. <laughs> <laughs> Quick ass slap on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> I go, I go okay. stand beside okay. Twinkle, and I'm just like, what's up, man? <laughs> so this pirate has a sword, and he's going to walk kind of chasing you right here. Kind of right to the edge. He's going to move there. Um, Arturus. I'm gonna hold my action and wait there for them to chase him. Okay. Uh, Pirate One, the guy who was taking a link, is going to also <clears throat> walk around. As he moves up, he's oh. going to see <laughs> you standing kind of at that angle. And he's gonna shout to the other guy, There's a broken armor in there! So he doesn't see me yet? You can't come. yourself. Okay. You are the shadow. There's a broken armor there, he says. Twinkle. Um, I am going to hold action until I see more of them come around. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, the third pirate, fifth pirate, and fourth pirate, these guys are going to come walking up this way behind him. And this guy is going to walk and he's going to trip and fall because he's a little drunk too. <laughs> and uh, he was trying to pull his sword out of his scabbard at about the same time he just took a walk and a gigantic clump of something that shall remain nameless tripped him and now he is face down <laughs> in the water. Up some Baltimore. <laughs> uh Kyron, your turn. Oh, I hear that guy and I'm gonna come from around the corner and try and clean his clock. Okay. Woo! Do you have your weapon out? Is that your profession? Yes. Watchmaker? Huh? Ha. Your profession is absolutely it's good. It's good. 19. It hits. <clears throat> um, I'm going to use a moat to do more damage. Two more damage. And this is going to be a three. Because that's. Be two. Ah, eight. So 10. All damage. Okay. As I blindside this dude. So, as you, like, appear out of the... Or as you turn the corner, because you know the guy is there, you heard him, you come... <clears throat> you unstealth, like, right in front of him. Your sword is ready to go, and you just, like, slash him right in his chest. He doesn't even have his weapon yet. He was getting ready to draw it. You slash him right in, in his chest. 
He kind of shouts and screams as your blade just... Retreat! Retreat! Rhonda. <clears throat> His name is Darkwater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast Ghost Sounds. Okay. And I'm going to make it sound like there are a butt fuck ton of us just like a bunch of dudes essentially like like getting yeah like banging their like shields and swords together like okay and um i'm gonna say by the order of captain Darkwater, you better stand down boys a little intimidation um it's not the best one but it is a 15. So they kind of hear the banging and stuff like that, and they kind of pause for a second. You know, they're like not really sure. And then the other guy's like, "You blokes don't even look like pirates. You look like I don't know weird city folk." That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, not, we're supposed to be trying to blend in. <laughs> so that second pirate is gonna see uh, his friend take the sword, like right to the chest on, on a on a nice slice, and he's gonna run and try and attack Kyron. Because that's who he sees. And so he's going to run right there. Yep. And he's going to go straight for him. One more. Go straight for him. He's got his sword out. And he's going to try and... Uh, he's going to try and swing right at you. Oh, and he misses terribly. He misses big time. He comes down with his sword. Just chain right into the stone. I am the knight. As I see him, as I see him come around the corner and uh, swing, I'm going to use the chance to hit him with some go. it's our choice this turn well, well, i was to... holding action well, I was until... we, we both held yeah. action okay. so yeah. i was going to use my action when he like after he's done he's faster, okay. yep. so he yeah first. yeah no, yeah you would have seen him first okay yeah you would have seen him first and he doesn't know you're there basically they're just sitting there waiting <laughs> <laughs> all right so well, I'll 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 <laughs> Okay, as soon, as soon as he I see him, I'm just gonna try to get him so he doesn't get shake of it. Yeah. You guys are trying to shoot poles at us, now I'm gonna fire one off at you. <laughs> oh how the <laughs> <laughs> swing him in. Uh with uh with the flanking bonus. <laughs> that's a uh it's a whopping ten. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna run like really patched and you're gonna come across you are holding your spear and your short your uh, shield here, and you're gonna like come across at him. But he was moving a little bit faster than you thought, and he kind of like steps in front of it as he swings and misses trying to hit him. Um, then the pirate that you just hit is gonna try and draw his sword out. Oh, and like, I, I was gonna do my action. To oh do yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Does a. This will make us feel better. Mm-hmm. Wait. Can you roll me a d20 to see if you hit them or not? Because they they are both in the way of that guy. There. I I have clear line of sight. No, of him. The middle one. You middle are one you are here. Yeah. This is Kyron. Yeah. This is the other guy. That's him. So I guess yeah. I guess yeah. okay. I can see that. Um. I can. I. I got. I got you. Yeah. My yeah. Mind. No. No worries. I wasn't sure if he moved or not. So, um, it was nineteen to, to hit. To hit. Okay. Uh, my leg. My leg. Um, two damage. So the the frost kind of lights up the the dark sewer tunnels as it like <laughs> and hits him, but it kind of just like yeah. brushes him off his shoulder, kind of throat, you know. And he's like, and he looks down there, and he's like, they got some sort of magic one too, guys. Uh, let's see one nipple get hard. I'm like, <laughs> um, now do you get to go your normal turn? Um, or since you held action, you just get to the holding action. I think was his pr- their yeah, previous, was previous round. Turn. So, so okay, so now, uh, okay, so the third pirate, the one over here, is going to rush up, but this pirate already has a bow out and is going to shoot an arrow at you, <clears throat> kind of like peeking the corner and just like already almost full drawn, ready to shoot at whoever he sees, and he sees you first. Uh, sucks. 18? No. Okay. So he mm-hmm. fires an arrow, but it just like 
glances and 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 uh, shoots off your armor. The next pirate, Pirate Five, is going to also walk up, but this one mm. only has a uh, sword, <clears throat> and this one's gonna walk up and kind of see that one miss and hit your armor, and is going to decide to try and walk around you guys. So he's he's actually gonna be like, you know what? I just saw this guy, and so he's gonna use his full turn to move over there closer to his buddy who is being stabbed. The pirate in the back four is going to stand up. Yay. Brush off and kind of look around. Be like, okay, thank God nobody saw that. And it's going to like finally full pull out its sword <laughs> and get ready for its next action. Chiron. Mm, I'm going to continue with this charade. Charade. Try to finish this man. <laughs> 17 crit. Uh, which one were you? The guy I hit. Oh, the guy you hit? Uh, is not hit. Oh, no, 17 base, so it's a crit. Oh, then, okay. Yep. And the... Confirm crit. <laughs> What's 17? So you said 17 didn't hit? Did not hit, no. Okay, so it's just regular. Nine points of damage. Nice. So, describe your kill. Let's see. So, he did he draw his weapon? Uh, no. Remember, he tried to. He tried to draw his weapon, but he couldn't. Yeah, he still hasn't even pulled his sword. Oh, oh, yeah. As soon as he has that moment of hesitation, I'm trying to go at his throat. Okay. You do. You kill. He's Green dead. Cut. Drops. He is dead. <clears throat> so you can. Knock that guy over, please. Tell my seven children I'm sorry. And Wrong time. <laughs> you know we don't have to do this, guys. <laughs> I just thought that a grenade falls out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys ain't even real pirates. Oh, but that guy's real dead. <laughs> Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> and Twenty-two. Yeah, so... uh the one that kind of moved to get into position kind of is like, oh, he's making maybe, a good point. He, that guy is real dead. <laughs> and he kind of like hesitates and shaking up a little bit, you know? like I'm going I'm to... About that. So he's like looking... Basically, he's like standing beside him and like looking at his buddy dead. Yeah, oh yeah. And he's got his back to me. I'm going to walk right up to him. And That's just... Arturus. This is man. Oh, is that you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so, yeah, no, so, yeah you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. So I'm going to yeah. walk like right up behind mm -hmm. him and say, and you'll be next. Okay. That is a 24. It hits. <laughs> oh, that was intimidation. Oh, no, intimidation. Oh, oh yeah. intimidation. Like, on, like, you shook him up and I was just getting like, like, he's no, like. No, I, oh, you were talking to this guy? I thought you were talking to the other guy. Yeah, so the so guy... they're both intimidated right now. They're both, like, fairly scared. This is not going their way. The one... You say the one, and the one kind of, like, hears you say that from behind and gets kind of spooked and kind of runs runs that way a little bit. Like, <laughs> takes two steps that way, yeah. He's like, oh, God, what the hell? What's behind me? I say... Um, how far does he move? Uh, just, like, two steps. Like, as oh, he okay. says it, he's like, oh, God. Like, like... Like get they get it off my neck, you know, like something. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna basically get my cello and kind of get in a defensive position and be like, I'm not gonna get killed. Over okay, <laughs> um, um, I could that that pirate <laughs> moves forward, but then kind of thinks about it and he's like, you know what? These guys did just kill my friend, so he's he already has a sword out. He's gonna turn around. He's gonna slice right at you. <clears throat> Does he believe in himself at the moment though? And that was the one that stepped back. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. gonna turn around and slice he's you. Like, no, I believe. Uh, Eighteen. Block glances right off your shield. You saw it coming. You knew what he was getting ready to do, and you just easily just like parry it with the shield. And that is your turn. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look at him and be like, "Nice try. You sure you don't want to give up? Your 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 other guy's already dead. This is your one. This is your chance." He just like stares at you like. He doesn't know what to do. Stab him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Second two in a row. Mm, ten um, total. I'm, I'm, ten, ten total. <laughs> so you do that, and he just kind of blocks with his shield your your spear as well. Yeah. Um, and I help with twinkle. Oh, they're in the way. So I can't cast. <laughs> do something cool, twinkle. Do something in general. Um. Really do much in this situation. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm gonna try and just sling around this corner to get behind Bryant. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, he's gonna take an attack of opportunity when you pass by him. He's okay. gonna see you, so he blocked it with the shield. He sees you, and he's just gonna like come down. What and the try fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, fifteen. Oh, you can't touch me, bitch. <laughs> You hit me. Oh, you hit me. Hit me. <laughs> you can. You son of a Oh, all right. Oh, sorry, chat. We're back. Um, okay. Let's see. It's really weird. They kind of sucked this up for me. They didn't really give me the... He does five damage. Dice bonus. That's with the size Oh, jeez. And a shield. And a shield? Yeah, a small little buckler. He has a baby Yoda shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has five damage. You'll grow into it. He slices you. You make it around the corner over there. Ah, goddammit. <laughs> but you get sliced up pretty good. Um, Pirate 3, the guy, uh, the one that is the archer, <clears throat> is going to load another one and shoot another one right directly at you again. Uh, he has to shoot through his body to hit me, I think, don't he? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, 19. Precision. 19. Nope, same thing. Shoots one right in between both you and his friend, and you guys kind of both, like, he turns and looks at him, and you're just like, did you just shoot an arrow at my face? You know, like, um, the second one is going to come across to you. So this one right here is, yep. Yeah, right here is going to come across to you and attack you with the sword that he has out. He has a sword and shield. Oh, I did not. I did not throw that dice in the right place. Uh, 15. Nope. So he just like comes up with the sword and shield and like hits, but you're just like nice and shadowy in the in the sewer and just whoosh, right out of the way. <laughs> leaving almost like a puff of smoke. He can't see anything of you. The... um. Similar. Yep. Uh, the fourth pirate, the last pirate, is going to come all the way up to the corner. Ah. And stay right there. Hey guys, I'm here. <laughs> and now it's Kyron's turn. Oh, I'm going to go after the person who tried to attack me. <laughs> okay. And ask him if he wants to end up like his friend. And I motion towards his friend. Plus 22. It's like, look, man, I, I don't really want to end up like him, but... I can't let you guys just say you work for Captain Darkwater. Oh, that was a 22 to hit. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I thought you were intimidated. <laughs> well, I right? was asking him. Oh. And no, then, I'm okay, no, yeah, answer. you hit him. <laughs> Why are you making me do this? Jeepers. <laughs> uh... But I'm going to use... One more mode. It should be the gas I think, I think that's all. <laughs> Four. Six. All together. The lamp lighter. <laughs> the boys. The lamp lighter. Tell us how you hit him. Look at the gas uh, Was he one that was like stricken with fear a little bit? No, that was the other one. Oh. That's the so other one that's like right in between. I just swing at him and tell him he's going to join his friend if this keeps up. Okay. Uh, Rhonda. There. <laughs> I'm gonna summon a horse. <laughs> just in between these two dudes. Oh. And it's just gonna buck and fucking roll to hit. Kick this dude. I have the horse's stats. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I can know what it hits for. Well, we gotta roll to summon first. Probably like a plus two. Oh, I um, he summoned. Oh, yeah, he all, has all the roll bard spells. The horse, like yes. he, they have a lot of the bard spells interact with people, so they can roll to cancel them. But as far as just like casting, bards just know the spells. You hear that, Billy? That's not how that's gonna work. Out. <laughs> 
I enjoy uh, wild magic too much. But this is like one of the strongest bard spells is summoning a pony. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You said horse. It's a full size horse. No, yeah, yeah, it's a horse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Shetland pony. Um, <laughs> it. I think it's imaginary. Yeah, no, no, totally. <laughs> You're a very imaginative person. <laughs> it's gonna look so good. It misses. It gets. What does it hit it for? A uh, two. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you roll one? No, I rolled a five, but it gets a minus three to attack because okay. it's a horse. <laughs> minus three. Oh. No, it is a plus one, so I, I, it's a six. But okay, yeah, it it. <laughs> so the horse just appears right in the middle of everyone, kind of like kicks its back legs and then bucks up and kicks its front legs, but like it doesn't hit anyone, but everyone in there is like wide eyed and bushy tailed now. They're like, what the you hell? How is there a horse in here? This is the horse. Um, the second one is going to swing again at you, um, Arturus. It's right in front of there. The pirate's just going to like right back on there he hasn't hit anything and he's not gonna start now uh, because he swings his sword hits hits it right off your shield same thing like just glancing blow like off it again the a horse has an AC of 11 just a lot of shit tonight um, uh, Arturus your turn uh <clears throat> well I tried talking to him last time I didn't do very well and uh so I'm just gonna keep stabbing this guy with my spear okay just keep okay. spear do the tuck keep on the poking train Oh, did you roll again? Up? Again, That's dude, amazing. that is three twos in a row. <laughs> the horse is kind of like you know throwing you off a little bit, <laughs> and you jab at him, and you just totally miss, like right by his side. He kind of just like gets hops out of the way. I you were um, fun of me. Twinkle. So I like step over to the side a little bit. I'm right next to his dead body, and I yell, I'm like, Arturus, watch out!" Um, <laughs> and I just fucking start throw chucking snowballs at them. Okay. Um, they get a reflex save I'm to do ha- take to take half damage. Uh, it goes off. So you're doing it right next to Kyren and you're shooting yeah, so for it's, those so two? So it's a cone, so it'll hit from here out. So. Okay, so you reflex save and I'll reflex save for the three enemies. First one is the main guy. He rolls a two. He gets hit. Off a reflex just to look cool. Um, the second one... They have to beat a. <laughs> they have to beat a. Three, three. So yeah, sixteen or more. Okay, so or 15, 15, for the 15 one. or more. And then that's a nineteen. So what did you roll? Eleven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I even tried to keep you. <laughs> He's just like, watch out! Yeah, well, and then snowballs just stop, <laughs> and you just start getting pelted. And the other guy in front gets pelted, but the the archer and the one attacking you actually don't take any damage. What about the horse? Does the horse have to roll? Uh, Wait, oh, because they did their reflex, they take half. Okay, unless they have a boost. Oh, so everybody takes damage. If they beat the reflex save, they take half, yeah. The horse beat the reflex save. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, wait, no, the horse is not. It's 14, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What did, what did you... Uh, it's plus four for the reflex. Uh, I rolled a 14, so that's... So 18. 18. Oh, the horse takes the horse, half damage. The horse yeah. takes half damage, yeah. All right, I got the How horse. much HP does the horse have? Uh, 13. How much damage does 22 total. So, a, so 22 total. Okay. She leaves. <laughs> so 11 is half damage. 22 damage to me? I thought it was going to work out better than that. <laughs> I tried to maneuver the cone, but it was <laughs> like so much. <laughs> my horse took less damage than here. Thanks. Hold what's on, your, I'm going down through the reflex? Reflex. Uh, Seven. Oh, yeah, so you had a better than not chance to beat it. Yeah, rolling a four didn't help. Yeah. Dude, you need to change die. I did change die. No, I'm talking about, like, oh, we need to go to the store and get new things that aren't cursed. <laughs> uh, Tell me, our, our die roll have... I well, like, I've maybe rolled, like, one or two twice. Twinkle, you about killed me. <laughs> I mean, whose side are you on? <laughs> Come on. First it was the icicle deck. Now this... The ice skill dagger wasn't my fault. And I am on the side I'm sorry, of you gave whatever it, right? happens, happens, you know? Okay, so 
All right, here's here's how this goes down. All right. You step around the corner from Kieran. You just start launching snowball after snowball. You, I mean, point blank range. This guy literally just ends up like a holy Swiss cheese dumped on the ground. This guy takes quite a bit of damage and uh, is actually going to um, gonna be like pretty jacked up, not dead. You take a lot of damage as well. And this guy is the same way, like very jacked up. Lots of damage. The horse. Oh, this was the horse? Yes. How much horse does like three. Three. The horse <laughs> is bloody, <laughs> dripping blood. If it makes you feel better, it'd be like cold damage, so everybody's just real chilly. Mm-hmm. And it's like you're getting frostbite. Oh, I have resistance. Oh, cold, cold the, the horse does have, I think, cold resistance. Oh, yeah. So, so like it takes chilly. even less damage. It's more cold damage than like impact. The but I like the idea of the, throwing spheres through The somebody. pirate with the bow sees you just peek out and just and just launch them and gets hit with it. And uh, she's going to like draw back and just like launch her arrow right at you. Oh. <laughs> does, it, does it have a chance to hit the horse? Yeah, 14. Doesn't hit me. Okay. So it slings past the horse and it slings past you. Uh, into nothing, and then um, the uh, pirate who is essentially right around the corner is going to see kind of all this going down and see his friend, and he's going to peek out and move towards you. Or move towards the way he saw snowballs. So he's going to peek out. Actually, no, 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 the other one. That guy. He's going to peek out and try and move there, but he's going to have to do a reflex save to see if that horse doesn't totally kick his ass. Um, Jesus. It's a 13. What is the horse? Let's just roll with the horse. There's a plus one. Okay, so he kind of like sneaks by. The horse kicks and he moves by real quick, almost getting like pummeled by the horse. But now he's around the front and he actually sees you and thinks you are the one that cast the snowball. So he's going to swing his sword at you. Fucking bring it. (laughs) 18. No. So he swings and he misses <laughs> oh, on you. Shit. Um, the horse is going to essentially kick in a circle, right? Um, and so everybody that's there, that's going to be the two bad guy, the three bad guys, all have to do reflex saves. I need to put mage armor on you immediately, apparently. <laughs> I already know what I'm going to do. And then cast this. I mean, that's no, even doing that won't do anything. 16. You could put one on me and I mean, four. Four me and I will die. Horse <laughs> it's, no, because magic so, hits you. The horse is like that's neighing perfect. and pawing and kicking its feet up and like. That's what the reflex is. But it hits mm. no. Mm. Like everybody seems to be safe from this like crazy horse. The imaginary horse. Skyrim, your turn. Um, horse is no, 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 so the guy tried. This horse now. Oh Sorry. well, I'm I'm actually the horse is like. The re- the, so it ha- only has a very small amount of health left, and it is turned into just a wild horse. It's kicking. It has holes in it from the snowballs. Oh, so I got so usually with a spell, I have essentially like full control to the point where like if I wanted to make this horse like stand up and start like hitting its belly with his hoofs, I could do it. That's how the spell works. Yeah, really. He's he has full control. Yeah, I have like yeah. full. Okay, like, well then I'll back it up and let you have the horse attack just on my turn. I yeah, can, I can, just yeah. sure control. <laughs> it. Don't let it agonize that it just got filled full of snowballs. So well, it also has hold resistance, so it actually didn't take it to five right? less. Wait, so this guy, this dude, so took it, a yeah, lot it's seven health. Okay, right? yeah. all of them. All of them hold resistance. I was like, oh yeah, the horse. Let me check. It has fur. Uh so he's so now the horse can no the horse can do whatever it wants. It's his turn. He's, oh, oh okay. yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna let him use the horse. Oh, okay. the horse. So I actually thought it was just like just because it was real that like, he took horse? damage and it was like, oh my god. I, I would say so. I'm going to for my turn. Um, I'm gonna take the last potion I have. No, this is the horse's turn. The horse goes on my turn. Oh, well yeah. then you don't get a turn. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was like, we just we, we okay. Then it is Kyron. Sorry, I thought the horse got. So this dude swung at me and missed. Yep. I'm in paling him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last mistake you will make. Oh, you will join your friend. Where'd I put it? It's literally right there. <laughs> I'm going to let him look yeah, for it. It says die. 15. Uh, uh, that does not hit. And I'll use my last moat. 
19. It hits? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> driving this shit home using this dice. Five. It's better. Uh, yeah, so he's been rolling one. Seven. <laughs> okay. See, what would I roll? Describe your hit. <laughs> oh, I'm just... Like, as soon as he misses, I'm finding the opening and putting my sword right through him. Okay. Rondo. Um, I'm just going to take a, the the last Cure Light Wound potion I have in my inventory. I'm going to straight on to him so he's going to heal. Okay. Um, do I roll the die or does he? Uh, he can. Or it is a one uh, You're pouring it on me. You probably should roll it, right? Especially with the way I've been rolling. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Alright, 1d8 plus 4. So here we go. Oh, yes. That's 11. And then... Um, so I'm going to pour that on him. And then I am going to say... Ezekiel! Chop, chop! And the horse is going <laughs> to... <laughs> It's way better than Greg the Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to say his name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just sent him to death. I did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and then so the horse is gonna just fucking full on. Yep. It was gonna try. That is a nine. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> he tried. Uh, Arturus. Horse also looked at me and nodded when I did it. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, Rondoff. I am not as dead. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and yeah, maybe I'll die on me. <laughs> stab uh, the one I've been aiming at. I'm okay. going to go ahead and yep. just try to poke him real good. Do the impalings. I'm going to switch it up. I'm, I'm, I got a third D20 I'm going to use now. Oh, shit, dude. Hey! Uh, that's a 24. It hits. Roll for damage. <laughs> it's so different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you take about 20 off that. That's been my roll. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that's six damage. Okay. Describe your attack. Um. I'll let you do it if you want. All right. So you just like see this horse straight up miss, but it like nodded at you before it missed, mm -hmm. and you were like shake it off, and you just like pull back and stab, feeling a little bit refreshed from the from the health potion, and the and the blade just like cuts right into his side, really good, kind of lays some of his skin and like bone open. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, Twinkle. Um, I'm going to hit the one that's closest to us with a yep. ray of frost. Um, goes off. And does a 19 hit. Hits. Yes. Ah, <laughs> the ones on the damage. Uh... Four damage. Jesus God, all right, God. describe your hit. I just, I'm just like, my hands are so cold from all the, from all the snowballs. So I'm just like, and I just like send another like chill through the air towards him. Kind of hits him right dead in his chest. And at first he's like, and looks down and he's like, Ooh, gets kind of cold. He like kind of starts like getting a little blue. My friend, there was oh, cold as ice. There was cold. Pi the <laughs> pirate that you stabbed is gonna like look down and he's gonna take his shield and he's gonna just try and like shield bash you with his shield. Uh, that is a 24. Okay, so he's gonna like reach back and shield bash you with his shield because you just stabbed him in his side and he does three damage. Okay. He also rolled me a reflex save. Yeah, or okay. actually a constitution. Okay. Jesus. Oh, like a fortitude or just constitution? Let's do constitution. Okay. Seven. You are kind of dazed a little bit because he, that shield caught you right in your head mm -hmm. and he just like, boom! He just like, kind of like, cabeza. Hey, you know, mild concussion, you know? Yeah. Like, All right. Yeah. It's um, hard on me. The pirate that um, that you just hit with the frost the bolt is going to kind of like take a step towards Chiron and going to try and like shove his sword right into Chiron. Uh, that is a seventeen. 
Okay. So he like misses and shwoom, like misses and you just kind of right out of the way one more time. And then it is Kyron's turn. Oh, I'm going to dodge. He like thrusted. Yep. Going to dodge spin and hopefully end this man's career. Like he's real close. You see those nipples? Ooh, pokey. Main? Who ten? So oh, nineteen, eighteen. It misses. Ronda. This guy in front of me is dead. Flanked with the horse, right? Yep. Then I'm gonna take the cello. And try to, I'm gonna try to bang the cello on this guy as the horse, like, because is he facing? So he's facing. He's facing them. So he's, he's kind of like. So it's like me and he's in front of you, and yeah, and he he's like facing to your left. So I'm gonna try to hit him like this while the horse kicks his legs out from under him. Okay. So I'll roll my attack first. That is a twenty. You you hit, and then I'll roll the horse's attack. That is a 19. It hits. Fuck yeah, combo <laughs> attack. Roll for damage. All right. So the horse, oh man, actually, the horse actually does a fuck ton of damage when it hits. It just only gets the plus one. Um, oh, actually, is it a fuck ton of damage? Or like 1d6. Oh, um, are these guys, uh, as far as like um, alignment wise, would they be evil? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the horse is going to use Smite Evil as well. <laughs> the horse That's is Smite a Evil. Godly sword. Oh, yeah. Per day in the swift action, the horse can add its charisma bonus to an attack roll. Or it can add charisma bonus to an attack roll. Um, and a bonus HD of plus two. What's roll some damage. Uh, uh, the horse has zero charisma. Or oh. zero of a charisma is bonus. Is it your Oh, my charisma, charisma bonus? Oh, yeah, it is. It would be mine, I guess. So, oh, yeah. so like, that's a very charismatic horse. <laughs> so it's going to get a plus six to its attack roll. And then, which is a D3 plus two, so it'll be a D3 plus eight. So it is, the horse does nine damage, and I do six damage. So that's 15 altogether. So you kind of like rear back the cello, and you look at the horse, and you nod again, mm -hmm. and it nods again, and you just swing like almost, you know, like, Right at the at the back of the legs, right at the knees, and you hit him. And right as you hit him, he like kind of falls back. And as he falls back, the horse's hooves come down and just absolutely crush his skull against the stone. Fuck oh, yeah! Dead, dead, dead. Oh, dead, dead. dead. <laughs> Horsey club. There's just, like bodies all around me. And I'm like Arturus. I still technically didn't kill that guy. The horse did. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, let's sure. see here. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and keep stabbing at this guy. Okay. That's how oh, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the archer's turn. I didn't... I forgot. I put a line through it, but you guys didn't actually kill him. The archer is going to shoot again at you. It has to... 19? <laughs> <laughs> and then... The fucking uh, Metal Gear Solid. What's the horse's AC? <laughs> the horse's AC is 13. Okay, so it literally just, like, pulls back and shoots and just goes foop, right into the horse. And the horse takes five damage. Oh, oh. he's at two health. Oh. Not dead. No, he's at three. Three health. The horse just like... <laughs> now it's Arturus' turn. Wait, is the horse gone? Or is it still there? No, no it's still there. Oh, wow. Two health. It's got <laughs> snowball holes in it. Three <laughs> health. And it had cold this? resistance and it, got, it beat the reflex save. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so, this yeah. is a resilient imaginary horse. <laughs> <laughs> the pony oh, horse that I'm imagining really hard because I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just swing on this guy. It's like huh? slowly fading. 16. <laughs> or he sees it. Uh, it's not hit. Right. Um, oh, wait, that, that was just twinkle. a 16 base? No, no, 10 oh. plus. Eight. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I'm going to rub my hands together and like create a little small little bit of electricity and just go at the archer. Yep. So all the dudes laying down are dead? No, they're, they're asleep. They don't kill goes people. off. They're <laughs> Sweet. I'm going to lift him up just um, in case. Just to clear the battle for So I have to do a ranged touch attack. Uh, 19. Okay, so as the lightning bolt comes out... Oh, roll for damage, please, sorry. 
two, five. Sorry. So as the lightning bolt comes out of him, right, it just passes right by the horse. But unfortunately, one like arc kind of comes out and, and hits the horse right in its neck. And it kills the horse. Why are you killing everybody? The other, the other, the ma it's major imaginary. arc of the bolt kind of winds around the horse <laughs> and just like, and just like hits the archer right dead in the, uh, in the chest. And the archer kind of like saves it and pulls it back and is going to just take one out and sling, uh, nope, nope, the wrong one. Just takes it right in the chest and it pushes it back. But the archer just turns at you and just knocks another arrow, pulls it back. The... Uh, pirate that you're engaged with is going to again take his sword. He missed you that time. Now he's gonna like come or he hit you in the head. Um, so now he's gonna try and do it again. He's gonna just gonna try and shield bash again. Damn. He already got you once. Uh, <laughs> and he kind of misses. Like this time, you see the shield coming in, and you raise your shield, and his wooden shield crashes and breaks on your metal shield. Gotcha. Be strong. Kyron. Uh, you guys got this right. Horse is dead. Um, horse is dead. Oh, horse is... Oh, yeah, remove the... Oh, no. Yeah. That's what I was going to try and jump off. Actually, <laughs> leave the horse where it's at. Yeah. It just... Dis well, it disappears. Yeah. Oh, it does disappear. Oh, okay. When they die, they yeah, essentially... Because it's well, imaginary. Disappeared. They... they yeah, it's imaginary. Above the table, they go back to where they came from. Oh, God. So if someone was just chilling <laughs> with their horse or even riding their horse, they would then fall off their horse, probably die or be, like, almost paralyzed, dying in a field, and then their dead horse would appear back. On top of just you know, yeah. All right, back on, back on her okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not a fun spell if you think about it too much. <laughs> I'm going. It's to better when you use other planes. <laughs> ready my sword and charge at that dude. Attack of opportunities, be damned. I'm going for that. Which oh the archer? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I, I hate. Shot at. I hate distance people. <laughs> Oh, I won't take that personally. Oh, no, that's cocked. Oh, 14. It's a 22. Yeah, it hits. You chose poorly. Six damage. Okay, so oh, describe your kill. Oh, I'm killing him? He's he... gonna die. So I see him knock back an arrow and... <laughs> Aim it towards him. Yeah. Got no. And as soon as that happens, I just charge in and impale him through his neck, up through his head. And he is dead. Knock him over. Oh, and then clean off my sword. Knock him over. I'll, I'll go take it. Ronda. Nice so kill. The, is this last guy? Yeah, over. take the blue. Not You can knock the blue guy over. Yep, he's dead. Beep, beep. Um, <laughs> and so this last guy, has he's been, he got hit by the snow, right? Uh, yes, but he only took half damage. All right, and then... Him and the archer took half damage. He and the other... And you hit him once? Yeah, he hit him once. Ooh. I'm going to... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna, like... Because we're, like, saying we're, like, we're like this. I'm just gonna be like, I got this one. <laughs> just, like, overhead. Like, I'm just gonna try to, like, put everything into just hitting this dude on top of the head with the, uh... Big old cello. Okay. 22. It hits? This is my one right here. Alright, here we go. Six. Describe your kill. So, I'm gonna say that when he saw Chiron run by and stab through the dude's head, yeah. he kind of like, huh? And like, he's already been, like, he's already cold, he's already been, you oh, stabbed yeah. him like right here in the ribs, so he kind of mm -hmm. turned and he was like, oh, and then as soon as he did that, I just hit down on him with a toe, and it just fucking breaks his neck. He crumples to the ground. Victorious as all foes lay slain at your feet. Sans horse. <laughs> <laughs> you can remove that guy up there. The face of this earth. That's where I removed him from. <laughs> Alright. Everyone's dead lying around you. Um, I'm going to perception and check and see if I can find any, like... Not only like keys, but like maybe notes or any maps or just literally any kind of information about what's going on with these guys. Okay. Uh, that is a 20. A 20. Okay, so you reach down into the guy that you just crushed his, his head with 
you reach down, you feel you feel around in one of his pouches. You actually see that there's like a, a little bit of gold in there. Let's say ten gold. Um, and then you like, and then you pull out like a scroll and you open it up, and it's essentially a map, like from the harbor to the sewer. It looks like of ga uh, gallon. And then it has instructions on the bottom. Meet here, get gold, get rid of ale. Boys, not <laughs> only did I find a map, but I found out what they were doing. What were they doing? They were going to meet here. Yeah, is that here? I don't know. I'm not really going to oh, okay. I point, I'm like... The Barrels are over there. Oh. Well, now we just got to... I'm just like... They, they've been the there. only thing we're missing now is the ale. Or no, no. The oh. gold. <laughs> <laughs> the gold, I mean. Sorry, sorry. Right, I don't see. It was in, in the pile of stuff that you were rummaging through? I mean, there was like in gold, but gold. I wouldn't say it. Then some hooks. If you're talking about that pile. Oh. Did, did we check their pockets? You said the pile of rum and Joe. Oh, you don't have the dead bodies. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll me a perception check. Run. By the, the way, pocket. we all got 162 gold and five silver from the 650 order. Uh -huh. Remember to do the math. Perception 23. So you clamber around in the other other pockets. You find some arrows from the archer. They're just like your basic arrows. Um, all the swords and shields look like pretty, you know, crudely fashioned for pirates. You know, they're sharp, but they're not like really nice. Um, you find another 25 gold with the other two pockets. 165? 162. 162. You find another 25 gold in there. And then you find um, a little hourglass symbol carved out of wood. And that's about it. I take the hourglass. So, boys, I'm thinking we take this ale, we meet whoever. Have we seen the symbol before? The hourglass thing? Yeah. No. Okay, sorry. Oh, wait. This ale, we know who this ale is for. This ale is oh, yeah, for, for Homeboy the... upstairs. That's why sorry. we're here. Yeah. Sorry. I was, gone. <laughs> I was gone when you guys made that plan. <laughs> well, not originally. Yeah, you were here. He was gone. I came back. Yeah, no, but then I left because I thought we changed. I thought we were going to change plans. But then you plan. came back. Yeah, I was going to. I thought we were going to change plans when he got here. Okay. Oh, I mean that's fair. So, what I'm thinking is, one sixty two. We maybe leave someone here to guard the boat. There's okay. a boat. Didn't, didn't they have a boat? These are pirates. I don't I mean, see a boat. There was a map. Was there a boat on the map? There was from the harbor. To, to the to the sewer. Yeah. I would imagine they had a boat to get like the ale here, but who knows if there's more people on the boat? Yeah, because I mean we're pirates and we don't have a boat. Turning more yet. Ball again. <laughs> we're not pirates. Oh, yes. Some of us are. <laughs> we all oh. turn and look at <laughs> I'm just sitting there with like I'm like got a thing of rum in my hand. I'm like. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've never seen a dolphin before today. I'm really. I've heard of me. <laughs> Dude, earlier you're like, I'm not getting in there. You know? <laughs> Almost a direct <laughs> Um, so how about this? We go get this boat. What? We go meet up with, or go like get it to the area where uh, Captain Theta is going to be. Yep. And then tomorrow morning. When we set sail, instead of being on his boat, we set sail on our own boat with them. Maybe we can even get one or two of his people to help run the boat for us. So we don't fucking... <laughs> yeah, we, 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 just, we just gotta make sure that, like... Uh, what's her name? The one that's leading the charge doesn't shoot us. Oh, the queen? Yes. So... Because that's the problem with that one, is that they're going to be like, Oh my god, we don't know that part. Well, if we're with them, if we're like, right beside them, there's no way. Oh my god, they're attacking the boat. <laughs> we <laughs> just spy the same flag as them? I don't know if that's how that works, but maybe. Then we would I'm not a sailor. Yeah. Do I know... I'm not a pirate. Boat I'm ball. not a man with the sea. Roll me a uh, knowledge. Actually, no, just roll me a d20. 
Also, shouldn't we take 14. this ale to... <laughs> That's I will say, yeah. <laughs> we were hired to get plus seven to every single knowledge. Are there so yeah, but I'm not. I'm only doing this based on your memory. If you okay, remember gotcha. about boats, you remember nothing of your past that has to do with boats. You just remember being stuck in, in, in like servitude, and you're like, I didn't work. I did, yeah, I didn't pick up much. So you were I must have been like. <laughs> I was more of a... Um, hey, Colonel, how's it going? Colonel man Noodle. of the sea. <laughs> Musical <laughs> servant. That must be traumatic for you. It sounds like a siren. Is that you drink? Kind of. She was. I, I, it's actually... Um, I, I don't like to brag, but I kind of had a run-in with a witch, and that's why I, I drink. Son of a witch. We should, we should get that t- taken care of at some point. Right? What? <laughs> what? I don't have a problem. <laughs> are, there, are, there, are there spigots on the little barrels? Or is mm-hmm. it just the cork? Mm-hmm. Everything's I mean, corked nice and tight. First things first, we should take these barrels to the tavern. Almost all of the barrels. <laughs> we should at least keep one. I mean, he's offering us free drinks. Yeah, but not of this. Remember, he said we don't get to drink this. And he said Did we can. Yeah. He said this is his own That's private special. collection. I mean, I'm sure he won't notice if it's a sky. Or a barrel. He doesn't even know how much he was going to get. Maybe they even, like, he, you know, he, if he I'm thinks... Sure he how much he was gonna well, get. if he thinks the pirates are screwing him over and taking the stuff and not going to deliver it anyways, maybe they try to, we could say they sell, sold barrels to other people. No, they were just trying to shake him down. I don't, like, gonna, uh, I, don't think. I don't like the fact that the part of this is just lying to the guy and taking his stuff. Wait, how, how many barrels? Can I just... There's six barrels. Six barrels? Yeah. Do you have a container in which to hold this? I have. They're not like big, big, gigantic barrels. You have to, like, you could pick them up and put them under your arm. They're like small oh, mini okay. barrels. Oh, yeah. in that case. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just okay. gonna hold on to one. Can I, can I, like, try it at some point? It's I'm gonna. Take a little sniff. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What's it smell like? How is it? Aromatic. Oh, okay. So this is a potion ale. It says on the side, and that's what the bartender says. And you open it up, and it just smells wonderful. It's like a golden mead mixed with oak honeyness. <laughs> I like I like pour out my water skin. And I'm just like just just, just stop. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna like tip it back and just like start drinking a little bit. And and, just... and you can tell this stuff is the primo primo like. Top tier alcoholic beverage, probably for when nobles come into his bar, would be your assumption. Or Do you have loyalty. a canteen? How much did he say he would give us? 50 gold. 75. 75. 50. He agreed to 50. I thought it said 75. Oh, yeah, because then you changed it because you were like, oh, we're doing free drinks. Oh. That's right. I'm not good at like striking. So 50 drinks. gold and all we can drink while we're here. Maybe we take two barrels. And then I give him fifty gold. <laughs> how how does that work? Because he doesn't want to give the barrels up. We just say that they weren't here. But why would we give, be giving them fifty gold then? We could say that they got damaged in the store. No, so how big are these barrels? And how much do they weigh? They're, they're like, probably like ten pounds. Ten pounds? Yeah, they're like they're like that big. You know, like like a what would be a private barrel? You know, like someone would drink over a period of like a month. With their oh, family. like a little powder keg. Yeah, a small powder keg, yeah. You guys can each hold two under your hands if you really wanted. Or? There's six of them. But I put know. one in my bag of holding. Okay. And then we... Uh, that's what... I mean, there were only you five, put the, right? You put the one that we drank out of No, no, you right? put the one we haven't drank yet. Wait, no, no, no. No, I, I had two. the one... Oh, no, no. Give me the one that we drank from. I mean, are we giving him four or five? All right. superior buzz to any other drink, yeah, drink yeah. you've had in like the last six months. I was like, you you that, take, like, like two of them got damaged in the like, fight. Drinking. We'd still be lying about the job that we did, though. Not necessarily. And I like Absolutely. put small cuts into the thing. I'm like, look, they got damaged. I don't think that really counts. <laughs> hey, we're pirates now. I never agreed to be a pirate. Okay. As you say that, as you say that, your spear glows and pulses, and you heal for three damage or three HP. I was like, he is, he is a paladin, so yeah, paladin not, pirate. <laughs> that's not a thing. We're uh, we don't do we're that. Using, okay, <laughs> I think it's the word that we're using. We're privateers. 
What if we say that it's like a like what if we drop the price? Like it's like okay, give us twenty five gold. We don't we pay for our own drinks, and then like we take that as a fee. Back home. Because honestly, <laughs> how long are we gonna be here for? Like twelve hours. So Maybe, we get probably, three yeah. drinks for twelve hours, or we get. I feel like we got uh, the short end of the. Yeah, or we get the best. Move. Yeah, we're gonna sleep for most of that. Did you ever put any of it into my water skin? Or you just no, I'm still it? holding on to <laughs> the fucking power of it. That, I, my I, I take the my water drink might as well be twenty right now. Dude, <laughs> so now you've opened well, two barrels. No, 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 that was the same barrel. No, I he's told, still holding on to it. No, no. I told him I took the barrel. I think the barrel he used. I don't think he no did. because did he asked me. Barrel? Well, because he asked me which barrel did you take the one that wasn't open? I was like, no, I took the one that's open. Oh, and then I, I will say I did say, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. So you. I'm not really much of a. Now you're right now just hold, Now it. you're holding the barrel that like he it. handed you that is full and but but corked. Well, since we're taking these away from people who are rich and not the common folk, I, I guess I can make an exception this time. Robin Hood. No, we're just robbing. I don't know who that is. <laughs> now you lose three L. <laughs> I think he was on the boat that I used to. Work. Okay. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to delve into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's like, like poking some. I'm gonna pick not... up the other barrel, and so now I have two of the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> you have one in your bag of holding. Who gets the rest? I'll grab two. Okay. I mean, there's that means, that means there's one, one left. More. Yeah, you, I'm not, you got it. I'm not. I'm well, not strong. You the barrel is like you have head. to like put it on your head. And it's like <laughs> it's like three Whoa. times inside your head, and you're just like walking with it. Like yeah, it's, it's literally a fourth of my weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you guys go back up. You walk all the way back through. You see the dolphin, or you don't. Know, the dolphin's not there anymore. Sorry. You see where the dolphin died. You see where the dog died. <laughs> I mean, that thing unalive. Disappeared. You you walk back up there, and you go up the stairs, and then you pop back out. It is now nighttime, but you pop back out. It's not in the throne room. Uh, <laughs> you pop back out kind of close to where you're at right now, right? You pop back out, um, and the party is still going on at the riot. It is still just like... <laughs> they're drumming. They're getting it down. Kind of Matrix, the second one, when they partied in the cavern, but we're in the riot. Or Triple X one when they're like, I stay in Dude. You guys like kind of pass by like where you saw Todd earlier and he's before, no longer there. Before we go in, I tell him to give me the barrel so I don't look suspicious. Okay. Me? Yeah. I didn't have the barrel. You were carrying it on your head? No shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saying. gave it to you. Oh, okay. I have it. <laughs> okay. So you guys <laughs> walk up anymore. around the corner. No uh Todd isn't there anymore. And then you walk in the front door. Instead of being like super like normally like we're real loud. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we like, can I kind of just try to like make sure the bartender notices when I look in and kind of like look down at the As barrels? soon as you walk in, the crowd just like cheers and roars because it's you guys again. I'll have done prestidigitation on all of our like clothing, shoes to make sure that like no blood, no shit, so, no piss. I'm going to let that go since I did, since you guys didn't say you walked into the bar. So I'll let all that definitely yeah, happen before you walked into the bar. So now if you guys want you can walk into the bar, but the crowd cheers when you do. So yeah. So you looking all nice and clean. Hello. Everyone Just, cheers and Woo, the heroes of Galland, we love you so much. Above board, real quick. Did we actually like the lamp lighters or the gas lighters? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't bad. I think that might be our our like group name is the gas lighters. Gas lighters. <laughs> Whatever you, I mean, you can do whatever you want to the do. Oil okay. <laughs> the oil lantern. The oil lantern. These people know you as the hero of Gallon. That's why they're streaming heroes of Gallon. I might just like slowly add random title, like like the, <laughs> like the heroes of Gallon, the lighters of gas, the like you know the oil lamps in the dark. <laughs> um. I mean, okay. Cool deal. Yeah. I'll walk over and set set this bad boy on the bar. The I'm bar. Set my two up there as the well. barmaid meets you guys there. Right? I'm setting and she home, sees but... that you guys have the, the casks. And she goes, Papa, they got the casks. And he comes running out from, from the back with like a handful of mugs, empty mugs that were clean. He's like, my boy, thank you so much for that. I greatly appreciate that. 
And he looks on the counter and he goes, one, two, three, four, five. Where's the sixth one? I ordered six. This was all we found. The pirates must have not planned on doing the deal, so they probably cracked into the sash themselves. Oh, that's a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> so you say that, and he just immediately goes, those oh, Steven. Oh, I hate pirates. I'm angry for you. Oh, so mad. All right, honey, grab the, the kegs and go back in there. Or grab the bottles and go. Oh, first and, and so he, so, <laughs> so she kind of grabs two and she walks back in there. And he's like, well, I promised you 50 gold and all you can drink. And he hands you the 50 gold. What will it oh be? Wait, 50 gold each or just 50 in general? 50 general. Oh, 50 each. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> so I was just 10, 10, 10, 10. And then I look at the last 10 and I'm like, keep it champ. Fine by me. So tell me, <laughs> did you did you gut those pirates like the dogs they are? Um, so freaking lootly. There were definitely dogs. Smashed them with a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed them with a horse? I don't know this expression. Are, are dolphins popular around here? Dolphins? I haven't seen a dolphin in ages. It's always seals and mermaids. That's that what I'm saying. I've never seen them. That's fisher, pretty cool. The fishermen claim to see seals and mermaids. You may ask one of the... the the navy men, if they maybe see dolphins in their adventures. Oh, oh no, I, I, I was just wondering. Wait, what are they called? Navy men. Oh. <laughs> men of the sea. Oh, I understand. So he just kind of like, people. he looks at you guys, he's like, what can I get you to drink? I mean, can we... Can we have a little taster of like what, what's in there? <laughs> oh, no. I sell that for 50 coin a, a cup. <laughs> 50, gold, 50 gold a cup 50 gold 50 gold a cup that's the finest opposing ale <laughs> noted uh, <laughs> uh that, okay i mean like what's in a barrel <laughs> <laughs> oh i'd say about 20. 25 <laughs> <laughs> uh do a do a uh Stealth check to see if he saw you guys. What, what else do you have? Like, what's the but next best thing? Yeah, well, what, I've, that we can have. Yeah, I've okay. got some um, that you would give to heroes. Twenty one mm -hmm. for my stealth check. Twenty eight. Okay, so yeah, he's he, <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't even notice. You say to give to heroes, and he's like, Talk heroes, you table. say. <laughs> well, not a potion ale, but I have some Salbon wine out there. They have fine wineries in in the Salbon region. Yeah. Do you have any, like, little pieces of fruit? In the wine? No, like, just in general. Uh, we've got cherries and blackberries, I believe. Can you, like, grab some of that? And so the video's for I can oh, throw it on in there. Reactivate the main camera. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh, I got the thing. Yeah. Sorry, I'll do it. So you go ahead. Yeah, grab it. Uh, say what? Can you, like, cut those up and we can throw those in there, too? Sure, why not? It's a celebration. And he just motions for his daughter to come over. Cut the blackberries and cherries and put them in the wine. And he gets like a few big goblets out for everyone. And then he looks at you. And he just gets like another big goblet out for you. Yeah. And then he and then they pour a little bit of the berries in there. And then the wine over there. He's like, oh. drink up, heroes. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. To the heroes of Gatlin. The gaslighters. <laughs> and then while you guys are planking, another gigantic mug just like clinks right in there. And it, and then you look and it's it's Admiral Theta and he is ah. hammered and sloshed. And he's like, hey boys, how's it going? Oh. We're not leaving on time tomorrow. <laughs> Pretty good. That's what I'm talking about. Would you guys, where'd y'all go? This one had a little bit of an accident. And uh, we had to go back to the place and clean him up. And it's late at night. We're not really... We are we are the heroes of this area, but as you saw earlier, people are sneaking out trying to attack us. Would we you we to... yourself, little man? I had to boot and rally. Oh, oh man, I don't yeah. know. I know about boot and rally. You know, oh, it's kind of the way... That's the play. He's a trooper. You just, like, throw up a little bit now so you okay. don't have to throw up a little bit later. That's what I'm saying. Or maybe you, you just throw he, up. 
He shit himself. That was oh, awesome. oh, he, he said poop. Poop and rally. rally. And he just gets like beat red, but he's just like laughing. And then he like turns to the front and he's like, the winning one pooped himself and then he came back for more and the bartender just kind of laughs and like doesn't understand what's going on he's like ah, i don't know what this drunk man is talking about and the admiral goes like well are you guys ready to go kill some pirates later i am thinking about sleeping on the boat i am so excited you got oh. you you guys are gonna get your own quarters on the boat oh so, speaking of the boat ah, do, do we have a place where we could talk in private Private? What do you need to talk in private for? About you got a boot again? Poop again? No. Sure. Okay, let's go. And then the Admiral just, like, grabs another beer off the thing, and he's just like, oh, we're just in the outhouse. <laughs> and he just, like, kind of walks towards the side of the bar where you guys are alone. He's like, what are we talking privately about, privates? Everybody huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. Come on. You huddle up. Okay, yeah, come on. <laughs> okay. So, we... Killed a bunch of pirates. <gasps> Just like twenty minutes ago, it was crazy. You didn't invite me. You why didn't you they come get me? It was. It was. It, was a, it was a so it happened so fast. And okay, he didn't really poop himself. Were they? Oh, he did. It was a cover. Yeah. It was a cover. It was a, did you was, guys? <laughs> did you kill him real good? <laughs> yeah, we killed like six. Six. Oh, oh man, oh. I really wish I could have. And he just like drops his drinks on the ground, and he grabs and he and he pulls out like a couple like flintlock pistols. He's like, I really wish I could have just like oh, shot the shit out of some pirates oh, tonight. Yeah. And Stand he pops it back, and he's like, There ain't any more left. No, Stand but you can down. shoot those bad boys into the air, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And the bartender's like. Admiral Theta, stop shooting! God, I'm shit, there wasn't me. And he just like, shh, and he grabs like a couple of like random people's drinks to like have, he's like, I'll drink it. I'll drink it. I'm gonna move I'm him. Gonna and, and, and as he like puts his pistols in the back, there's just like some smoke coming up from like behind his back. And the the I'm, pop. I'm gonna move us like five <laughs> or ten more feet away from the bar <laughs> just in case anyone's like, what's going on over there? <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> they had a boat. Fucking throw I think we should go make sure that is our boat. They had a boat? Hopefully not anymore. Hopefully what, that'll be our boat. But what kind of boat is, the bo is their boat? It's big enough to for them to sail here. Sail here from where? Long, long story short, there oh. were pirates. Yeah. He and killed them good. Yeah. And they were delivering ale, very expensive ale. Okay. To this bar. Okay. To this and... Bar. We killed them, and okay. now they there's just a boat, no pirates. So we. But well, you don't know what type of boat it is, and uh, we don't know if there's still men on that boat. But we could use that boat to pretend to either pretend to be pirates, or just have another boat in our battalion. Well, is it at the harbor, or is it over maybe like I'm by the rocks and where the smugglers use? You know this area well. What? It, oh, show them the Check map. Check the map. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a harbor, man. It's very oh, so it's already on. Room. That's where your boat's at, right? Yeah, my boat. Oh, then yeah, harbor. we can just go there and. I will go there with oh, you, right? Which one is the boat? In the harbor? Is there a name of the ship on this document? Mm. Is, is there? Oh, is there a boat with a symbol that looks like this? He sees that he looks at the hourglass and he goes, oh. mm. I mean, maybe that's like Captain Salas. I think he uses what? the hourglass. The Salas. You know Salas. How do you spell it? S A L A S. They usually serve it when you have a steak. It's a side. <laughs> <You're stupid. laughs> yeah, Captain Salas, he's like, I don't know, he's really creepy, man. He like keeps all the eyes of everyone he kills, and they say that the bottom of his boat has a bunch of eyeballs in it, but I don't think that's real, because that'd be really stinking. Where are you going to keep all your crew when you so, just like got eyeballs on the bottom of your boat? Is he an enemy or an ally? He's a fucking enemy. He's a pirate. I'm just, I'm done. Well, I'm still check. how about... He hates pirates, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's like, oh. oh. Uh, um, yeah. The reorganization. I hate I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe we go ambush them. Let's, how about we sober Ride up a little that. bit? Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got an idea. Listen to my idea. Your idea sucks. Shut up. Listen. Okay, so 
<laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my really big big bow with lots of guns on it, okay? Oh. And we're gonna drive around the harbor mm -hmm. until we find, you know, that that Captain Salas's boat. Yep. Although I didn't see it this morning, maybe it's there. Come and to... we're gonna point our guns at it, and yep. then we're gonna take it, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna hoist it up on my boat yep. because you can't cross no great sea in an itty bitty little boat. No, and I didn't see that. no big boats at Captain Salas. And then we'll get it over there, and then we'll decide what to do with That's it. That's a great plan. That's honestly what I was going to say. Well, yeah, but I just said better and faster. That's debatable on the faster part, but that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like, as good, at least. Cool, I'll see you guys in the morning, daybreak. And he, like, puts his beers down and just, like, starts walking. As he's walking, I'm like, what does your boat look like? It's the one with a lot of guns. Oh, and the stuff. name? <sighs> I don't know, man. Guns and stuff. Guns and, <laughs> the guns. That's, that's guns and stuff. The guns and roses. You keep asking lots of questions, man. Yeah, yeah we're not getting more for show. Sure. It's gonna be the I'll one with the blue and the gold molding and all the guns all over it. I'll just yell his name really loud in the morning. And as he leaves, you guys, the party just rocks on. Yeah, we're just like, we're just standing out there. <laughs> Do you guys? So it's probably like three in the morning or so, probably now. Oh yeah, it's like. And I am slot like so. Usually, I drink throughout the day, and it's like one of those things where I, I'm pretty good at maintaining and not pretending to be drunk. You guys can tell because you're around me so much. But like, he like he said, I took like one or two sips of that, and I am like feeling it. Like you guys look over, and I'm just like, so what you guys want to do? We sold the apartment, right? So we can't go there. They probably haven't put somebody in there by the time that we've left, and we can they said they're going to handle it for us. I didn't lock them. him like some. Body to keep him warm and stay in the tavern. I didn't lock the window when we left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is like perfect drunk talk. <laughs> Imagine just like four drunk people trying to get in a window. <laughs> the day they move out of their apartment, they go to a party and they're like, didn't we really move out until tomorrow morning? <laughs> Do we know if there is an inn closer to the harbor? There's the whorehouse across the street. That wasn't the question. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if there's a well, no go oh, Damn it, Lord, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> let's just go towards the harbor, and then I'm going to try to perceive an end. I got a 16. Uh, you walk out, and you see, of course, the ladies of the night kind of across the bar. You look down that way, right towards the harbor, you know, because it kind of slopes down a little bit. You can hear, like, some seagulls or whatever. And um, and uh, you kind of look down that way, and you don't really see anything. You just see, like... Let's just sleep There's no, like, lodging or anything. Uh, what about the riot? Why don't we just sleep here at the riot? Yeah, let's just sleep at the riot. They'll go in there. I'm gonna walk yeah, back. is the apartment closer, or is the right. tavern that we're at closer? Uh, the tavern that you're at is probably... I'd say like a couple hundred feet from your apartment, and the harbor is probably like, you know, like a thousand feet or more. It's pretty. It's it's your the harbor is like half a mile down there, maybe even. <laughs> <They're Rondo. laughs> I started leaning from the Rondo, up and I actually, <laughs> I was like, okay, I gotta I gotta restabilize. Um, I mean, I mean, I still have the key to the apartment, right? Did they ever take it? Did they ever take it? Uh, no, he just sold, he gave you guys 500 gold coins for no, it. I feel like that's I a mean, bad idea. Yeah. I feel like that might be a bad idea. I feel like that could be a way to tarnish our relationship with the gang. We should just sleep in the riot. They'll give us a room. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think they will be. Right. We should yeah, say, since we didn't drink a lot, that we get a free room. We right? should just get a free room. Free... Couple of rooms. Sure, sure yeah, rooms? I'm going to walk back in and just be like, Barkeep, yeah, what's up? Since we, uh, Probably won't be drinking too much more tonight. How about instead of all those drinks you promised us, we just get a free place to sleep? <laughs> I don't have any rooms here. I mean, you could sleep in the wine cellar. What the fuck kind of tavern is this? Doesn't have any. You guys want to sleep in the wine cellar? No. <laughs> <laughs> no? <Does> it... <laughs> what's, okay. what's wrong with the inn across the, the way? Uh, I book in... Oh. There's You're just, right. There's just lady. Wait, wait. You talking about the whorehouse? There's just ladies like hanging out the door, like. Come on! <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's exactly what you see. Um. It's a little. Well, I guess we got no choice, guys. Yeah. 
I've been to that horror house. It's not. Not nice. Not you don't have any extra food. chastity belts, do you? <laughs> not coming off of my daughter. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I luck pick. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm definitely going to have to put some points in disabled device. <laughs> no, we can team this. <laughs> um, you guys walk across the street, headed towards there, and the, the one girl comes like, oh, hey, big boys, are you looking for a little fun? Be uh, gone, thought. <laughs> <laughs> she just like kind of like, oh, fine, and walks away. And another one comes up and she's like, yeah, what kind of fun you guys are? Uh, the fun that involves us sleeping? Oh, you guys. Just a room. Just want a room? Just a you room. You want to, you know, have a little fun? Or I'll, pay you, room. I'll pay you to leave us alone. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much? <laughs> One gold. Two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, gold, she's like, that was quick. <laughs> Quicker than some. <laughs> and then just walks away. And then uh, as you guys walk in, you see like the little madam behind the behind the table. And she's like, what do you want? You pay this one. <laughs> Wait, is this the one that I paid before the 10 gold? No. I'm it's, like, oh, right, are you the, the runner of this establishment? Yes, I am the madam. You paid the wrong person? I paid some somebody 10 gold. I mean, what did they look like? Maybe oh, they worked remember. for you? I don't remember. Roll, per you roll perception check. I don't remember. <laughs> you look around and all the faces just kind of blur together of the of the pretty, not pretty yeah, girls. I was like, she had burps. That's all I remember. What uh, do you want? A room. Just a room. Pay. Two rooms. Oh, two rooms. Fifteen gold a room. Fifteen gold a room. I'll send up some bread and we'll make sure that the linens are fresh changed. How many girls would you like? None. Well, for the for the heroes of Galland, I feel like we should just be able to to possibly oh, play. Right. Did we not tell you that? Heroes, not heroes. Everybody pays. Do you want a room? Do you want girls? Do you want the bread? Do you want to sleep? Or uh, not? I'm very interested in the bread and the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, no, yes, yes. The women are not as important to me. So, like, how much would it be without the women? Okay. She claps her hands, and like two girls kind of came come out, and they go upstairs. And then you see him coming down with, like, some dirty linens. And then another girl, like, walks over there. And she's like, okay, follow me. And she has, like, a little thing of bread. And she just, like, walks up to the room. She opens one. She hands you a little thing of bread. And then she's like, okay, this is your rooms. And she shows you into your rooms. I am going to, like, walk to go to lay on one of the beds. And then I'm going to make most of it the way there. But essentially, <laughs> like, from here up is on the bed. And then my legs are just kind of, like, half hanging off the bed. But Wait, so how much did we pay? 15 each. 15? Uh, 15? Uh, yeah. 15? Sure. Wait, wait. Each room or each person? Each room. Okay. Each room? I got it. Who's, I'm sharing yeah, a room with I, him, can, I guess. I can. Oh, it's a little gas. <laughs> I can go ahead and pay for it. Do we want to like, have somebody come cuddle us? You to push the beds together? Why would we pay for that? I mean, we already did. We <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you guys like all kind of talk, walls, and I'm like, as you guys kind of all talk and pass out, you just like fall asleep to the sounds of the riot and people like shouting and people drinking, doing happy that the rebellion's dead, and we're gonna call it there for the night. Got a ten twenty. Hopefully, you guys had a good time. Uh, make sure <laughs> next say yes to sex. <laughs> we did. Someone got an STD. <laughs> so next Tuesday will be the beginning of the tale, a uh, tale of two tight of two titans campaign. Um, uh, it'll start at six on Tuesday, and then after that, we're gonna move it to Fridays. But we're gonna skip that Friday next Friday. A lot of Fridays. So we'll uh, mm -hmm. so we'll post when we're um starting. So it'll be this coming Tuesday, a week from today, six p.m. And then two Fridays after that. But this coming Tuesday, we will have the um the beginning of the campaign, the tale of. A Tale of the Two Titans. This was the prologue. We got used to everybody. We got ourselves a new table. I think everything's going pretty swimmingly, but now they are sent on a mission uh, across the sea to handle a pirate uh, king, essentially making a move on a city. Mm -hmm. And we leveled up, right? 